flashing lights, baby. Flashing lights everywhere. Niggas was saying shit about me, they didn't even fucking know me. This is my story. This is what I was doing with what nobody looked. Y'all don't know what goes on in practice or the locker room. And then we're taking out of bounds. Welcome the back to Gills Arena presented by Underdog <laughs> Fantasy. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> it was a tough weekend across the board in the basketball world. <laughs> From the NBA all the way down. High school, <laughs> rec leagues. Rec leagues. We was all taking L's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that game winner. My heart was broke for y'all. And they were sorry, too. I mean, no offense, but oh my God, they were so trash. So like we did, we did, we did everything in our power to lose. When you do, it does. Yeah. <laughs> Talk a little high school hoop for those who are unaware, <laughs> but uh, you know, Gil's son suffered a, a tough loss at the hands of a, a game-winning three kid, two threes in a row. Two Man. threes in a row. Damn. Cold blooded. <laughs> but this is Gil's Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. As always, we got the legend Gilbert Arenas here with us. What to do? We got <laughs> Kenya Martin back here with us on the couch. What's up, Kmart? What's that? Adage? And back in the arena, two-time champ, North Cole. Uh, we appreciate you. Peace takes out. Post All-Star Weekend, left much to be desired. Uh, Adam Silver, we got some things that you need to listen to. Yes, we do. On this very here program, presented <laughs> by Underdog Fantasy. But here's what's cracking in the arena today. Uh, NBA All-Star Weekend was a big brick, but how can the league fix the All-Star game and the weekend? <laughs> Scotty Barnes, hey, come on, dog. Come on. LeBron says he's 50 50 on wanting a farewell tour, but wants to end his career with the Lakers. And Charles Barkley said KD is a follower, uh, but is he spitting or hating? But before we get into all that, as always, this show is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. If you have not done so already, download the app, use promo code GILL. They will match your first deposit up to $100. You could have made some big bread this All Star weekend with the Pickums. Shout out to Sabrina Nescu. Shout out to Steph Curry. Both went higher and put some bread in my you pocket. Did? I took the higher on both of them. I knew Underdog didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> <laughs> she got the record. I don't care if she got to shoot three feet further back. <laughs> she was still going to hit that number. And shout out to Steph for doing what Steph does. And as always, we do mostly fans at the end of every show. You drop a good question in the chat with your Underdog Fantasy username. We use that question on the show. We will give you a $50 bonus to your Underdog Fantasy account. If you send us a video at mostlyfansgill at gmail.com and keep it under 30 seconds, we will give you a $100 bonus in your Underdog Fantasy account if we use it on the show. As always, you don't have to ask us just basketball questions. We are well-versed in all things hoops, culture, and life. So feel free to let it go. And if you can't watch the show live with us on YouTube, we have audio versions available on Apple, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast from. All right, so before we discuss the actual All-Star Weekend festivities, uh, we got to talk about a piece of news from the NBA All-Star Tech Summit. AI used to dominate the league in the mid-90s and 2000s, but now a different AI is looking to take over the game. Okay, that was a good one. NBA AI, show me the Pacers game as if it were a Spider-Man movie. Generates, generates, in real time, with the game. So I don't know uh, why you want to watch your Pacers Jazz game as it is, but if you did, you could watch it. <laughs> you could watch it in Spider-Man. Uh, so like the commissioner mentioned, with the new NBA AI, you can use your voice to activate movie mode to make a live game look like your favorite film. Uh, after everything that went on this weekend, how do we feel about the NBA introducing this new NBA AI technology? Uh. <laughs> 
What's up, G? What they What's up, man? <laughs> Come on. Now, yeah. they have Pootie Tang as an option. Mm. If you can watch a game with Pootie Tang, that so might... So you get to watch it on your TV? I think at home you can say, hey, show me this uh, game as whatever. Do you need a special TV to uh, do that? That was my... Oh. You, you took the words right out of my... Yeah, absolutely. Oh, man, I feel That's like they're going to get some bread grab. up out you. Yeah, absolutely. They're going to get some bread up out you for it. Man, it's going to be that they go finna do this deal with Apple. You're going to have to have fucking Apple TV or something, and it's going to... Vision goggles. VR glasses. Vision goggles. You're going to need a VR or you're going to need something. You're going to need something. It's, it's another money grab. I mean, the concept, I guess, for kids, it, it'll be... Mm-hmm. I mean, I think it'd be used by, kids. you know, the younger generation. That can afford it. Yeah. Or their parents. Mm-hmm. That can Only afford their it. their parents that can afford it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. As a basketball player, I want to watch no. mine. Color purple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put my shit in the roots. <laughs> the roots theme. Like, yeah, that'd be some funny <laughs> shit. What? <laughs> Now, that'll be so funny. <laughs> Hopefully, in true hood fashion, there are bootleg <laughs> versions available. We, we ain't got the real Play Spider-Man. We got the bootleg. Uh huh. <laughs> now, <laughs> NBA game is baby boy. Whole plantation out there. Jody, dogs on the side. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally, some movies will probably not be included. Let me see, right, right. Let me see you pull minutes off. <laughs> now, I can tell you that white folks about to be happy than the motherfucker. We can go back to the old school days, huh? <laughs> In the hood, they'll have bootleg versions available with the Jack and in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll bring you on our next question. Good, you already answered some of it. Which movie <laughs> would you make an NBA game look like, Norris, since you are our guest of honor? Uh, I had to say The Avengers. Okay. Yeah, I had to Fair. say The Avengers because I think the characters in the NBA are sort of like we reference to them as like Avenger type of people, you know. Got your Iron Man, you know. Maybe like a LeBron who played 20 years. Or you got Thanos, you know, like a Zion, you know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, yeah, Thanos, that's Nick Thanos, yeah. So, yeah, it's different characters that you can put in there, you know. So I would say Avengers. Okay. And that's something that everybody, most people know about. Okay. Yep. Can you, how about yourself? Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wow. good. Avatar. So, Gil, you said roots, you said color purple. <laughs> so, I mean... It, like a it, more, in a more serious conversation. No, 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 no. So, it gives, it gives, it gives, uh, it, it's that quality, it's that, um, like the animation of it, is that what it is? I believe it, yeah, it'll, it'll replicate whatever the movie you pick, it'll put that in, which is good for like... like Ooh, then I go like, probably back in the day, what, The Mask or Roger Rabbit? This f- yeah, like Jim, so it'll go from reality to cartoon, you know, it gives you that little. Sure. What are our Oh, pro- Batman. <laughs> what our pro- producer above the rim and every backboard slap, it just falls off and they, they fall off. Uh, the- <laughs> I mean, you know, if you don't like the 80s like I do, you can go back to like the Who's, all those, so you can just see. Take it way back. Or a real hoop movie, like Blue Chips. Blue Chips. No. Huh? <laughs> yeah, see, I want, I want older than that. I want like them 80 movies, right? Because, okay. you know, they had that idea how they looked back then. Yeah. And then you put today's players, you know. In those days. In those days, just to see <laughs> the difference. Somebody in the chat said Django. Uh, you are, you are <laughs> speaking on, our language, okay? Can't do that. Can't do that. Shit, Absolutely. Man. You don't know. You open Pandora's box. Cause right. we were going. Is, it, is that movie Shoot Em? Shoot Em? Shoot Em Up? Shoot 'em up. What? what you nah, about? it was a movie. Shoot 'em up. Where? Yeah, it was, I don't know. That's you know, appropriate. It was like glory. It was like it was like one of the. Okay. It's a good movie though. <laughs> Smoking aces, baby. Okay. 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 It's okay. like one of those types. Okay. You was losing us for a second, G. <laughs> hey, Jill, they, they, they're clipping that off and making a meme as we speak. Hey, at one point, I was try, I was trying to buy one of them. That 50 she had across the cross. Oh, oh. The cow. Somebody tried, oh. You should have came to me back then. <laughs> my homeboy had to talk me out of it. He was like, listen, why, why would you buy that? Like, we was at the store in Dallas. Like, right out, it was in Fort Worth with the gun store. I was like, I, that one. That one, right? He was there. like, why? I said, because it's in here. Mm-hmm. Like, what, where, where else I'm going to see one of these at to buy it? <laughs> yeah, it should have came, came on to me. <laughs> somebody, somebody in the chat said Juice. Uh, I actually watched Juice this weekend. Uh, it was a great movie when I was a kid, but I really watched it as an adult. Not a good movie. But Juice? Not a good movie. Not a good movie. You ain't feeling it? Just, it did not add up. 
Yeah. It, it did not add up. But that, but that was so funny, and that's. What, so what part didn't add up? So okay. <laughs> spent, spent the day skipping school, doing some fun activities. Uh, yeah. He goes in to buy the cigarettes. Sees this boy who robs the spot. Mm -hmm. They later find out that he got smoked by the NYPD, and then they have the brilliant idea: Oh, well, let's go rob the local liquor store. Just didn't make sense to me. <laughs> While their man who could get him out the hood, great DJ. We want to make you fuck up your DJ competition so mm -hmm. we can go rob this liquor store for yeah, $100. Life instead, lessons. Instead of putting and investing that into you after we already installed all the records for you to get your mix right. In the hood every day. Because it's <laughs> life lessons, right? <laughs> Decisions that you make, mm -hmm. you got somebody that's about to do something positive to maybe make it out. And they just pull but it But y'all bullshit mm -hmm. always pulls you back into. Okay, all right, that. You know what I'm saying? That's, see, hood, see, you ain't grow up in a, see, that's when you're in a, see, when you removed, oh, can you, this when has, you removed this, from the projects, mm -hmm. like, you don't understand shit like I'm that. just pushing my man who's a crabs DJ, in, though. Listen, crabs, crabs in, in a barrel, barrel mm -hmm. syndrome. I understand, right? but you like, understand that, right? but like yourself, if I know you're gonna be a number one overall pick, I ain't gonna be like, I came here for your big game, let's go rob the liquor store. But that's you. <laughs> You. <laughs> but that's why I'm on this couch right? with y'all. <laughs> Niggas in the hood don't think that way, bro. <laughs> Trust me. Like, I'm, don't you know many athletes I grew up around? Well, that's fair. That's fair. Like, when to do hood rat shit. Like, guys that was way better at basketball than I was, football, bait, like, dudes that was could have been first round picking baseball to come out of high school, dude. Like, I grew up around great athletes. Mm -hmm. Bad decisions. You know how many of us made it out? Can you like far as like <laughs> far as professional athlete like I'm gonna say one two, or two. okay who's who is you and who's Kobe Reinhart is okay. played for the Arizona Cardinals and went to SMU in Dallas we grew up together we all we grew up playing sports together he played football and I but you know how many other you like that a lot of that was dude so who who is the best street dude that you knew that should have went pro we all know somebody who could have made it. Yeah, you grew up in the hood too. Like street dude, Fernandez. or just <laughs> the, the, the hood of <laughs> Sherman Oaks <laughs> and Van Nuys. It was rough. In the, it was rough in the early nineties, Gil. We lived yeah, the rough. Rough, the roughest motherfucker I knew back then was probably what Ray J. <laughs> 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 hey, I'm trying to oh, tee into no. Mirna. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> All right, it is President's wow. Day, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. I'm just saying, I'm like, that's fucking people I went to school with. You went to school with T.H. America? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No one he was going to. Milliken with the fucking rage. Shit. Dude, you didn't hear what I said the other day. So you, the, the conversation that we had the other day about mothers grew up in houses out here, want to be gang members. Hey, they were, like, they dude, were that's on, only out here, bro. They only had one bathroom in the house, though. Hey, like, that's, that's <laughs> only <laughs> out here. Bathroom, like, when y'all grew up, like, you, your pops in there, so you, you definitely excluded from this conversation. A lot of kids, <laughs> can you? A lot of kids. Don't matter though. The, the, bread, the bread was not as, as flowing as it was. <laughs> Try the children. Whatever, boy. Y'all have to do hand me downs? Oh, of course. Oh. He lying? <laughs> <laughs> he like, oh, keep it in butt. Keep it up. Hey, that was by choice. Yeah. No side. Okay. Yeah. By you know, choice. I, was, I was not. Because you had older brothers? I was very free. I, I used to rob so you, older brothers. You, you, by, like, by choice. like I said, by choice. By choice. <laughs> you ain't never good. wore another dude that you went to school with clothes. No, nah, I don't do that. Exactly. <laughs> you never, so until you, yeah, bro, don't, <laughs> don't Don't take him back, K. Hey, but I had to explain it, though, especially in this one the other day. Cinnamon toast, though, King. We all that's, had to. But that, boy. No, that's not say all. Y'all didn't go to the public schools out here and play the public schools? Yeah, in public schools. That was the shit. Mm. But you went to school with Tim Tamara and Ray there? They went to public school? Yeah. The public school out here is, is called SAFE. Oh. <laughs> out this <laughs> way. Yeah, like oh, Sherman okay. Oaks Elementary. Yeah, this way. All the Jack like, mm. Listen, you go. Yeah. All the Jackson Same. kids. When the you, go all south, Jackson kids? you go south. You go south. The auxiliary Jacksons. Here. The auxiliary Jacksons. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, southeast from here, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, he would. Well, hey, they need to go to the public school in the Midwest, man. Privilege. What are you talking about? And privilege. They, they know every reality Child. TV star and all them. <laughs> That's my high. I didn't choose my life, Kenyon. I didn't say you did. No, I don't want to be here. Listen, hey, hey, I would literally, nigga, I wish my daddy would have been in the NBA growing up. Trust me. They were not getting hey, bread like that back then, though. Hey, listen, hey, nigga, anything was better. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> listen, my mama did great. <laughs> listen, hey, man, Jack. We have, have houses out here, Kenyon. I had some guys that went to school that could have made it, but like Ken said, the streets got them, you know. Well, my pops didn't let me be on the streets, but like I went to school with all of them. Public school, you saw everything. You saw weed, guns, all that in the school. Listen, don't get me wrong, man. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I got teammates that had 
you know, ankle. Oh, yeah, like, low back like, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, I, I mean, we had a teammate that got. Sh- I mean, I wasn't on the team, but he got shot. Be- oh, I was on JV. I wasn't playing though, but he got shot before the game. What? Yeah, he got shot before the game. Still played. Hmm. Now, but the, so look, we did have some unwanted guests. Hmm. Back then, it was uh, they was uh, busting them, hmm? so they was busting all the LA kids. Oh, they doing it to this day. To the valley, they do it to so this day. It was. It did get a little rough. Who was who was? Because we it, always heard the story about Super Crip. I see. I see a couple of little motherfuckers over at Sierra Canyon. Like you, definitely ain't grew up around here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They bust them in, but you know it was it was. They got their. I'm not gonna lie. Back then, they was getting their ass whooped because whatever they was claiming, it was only one or two of them. Right, and then most likely their parents didn't have cars for the whole hood to drive this way. So unfortunately, they was getting picked on. Now think about that. We beating on real family gang members, right? What you think that did to the Valley Kids? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. We thought we it's was tough. like really that. that, was that? Tough. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we thought we was really that. Just beat up, dude. You a whole gang banger. But it's only one, right? <laughs> it's only one, just one, right? And then yeah. Let me tell you how that story goes the other way. Where I ended up going to high school and graduating from wasn't in my neighborhood. I had to catch two buses to get to where I graduated from, right? So we playing a game my senior year. Dudes that's in Oak Cliff, but it's in a different part of Oak Cliff than I grew up. But everybody come, my people come to the game. Mm-hmm. But I grew up in Oak Cliff. I went to school at Brian Adams. It's a bunch of like mm-hmm. kids like y'all that grew around the school, grew mm-hmm. up in houses. Right? Mm-hmm. On my team and on the JV. They don't know no better. They in the stands talking shit. Ooh. While we playing. <laughs> While the varsity playing. The JV, they in the stands. Just dot, 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 dot. The game is over and holy hell breaks out. They chase four of these dudes down the longest road. Loop 12 is in Dallas. It's the long, probably the longest road in Dallas. It goes wrap around the whole city. It changed the name, but it wraps around the whole city. Mm-hmm. They chase these niggas, listen, they said they ran <laughs> to the school. <laughs> this is miles, like 12 miles, dog. They said they ran for like six of them because they didn't know how far they were chasing them. <laughs> that's, <laughs> See, that's when you grow up in a certain area, you don't know. Better watch your mouth. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you better watch your mouth. Hey, what, hey, what they saying, Players Club? Keep your hands on your head <laughs> and watch your tone. <laughs> we had to worry about that out of here. They couldn't bust here. Yeah, yeah they, they couldn't all bust here. A lot of traffic. <laughs> we didn't have HOV lanes back then. Yeah, but, <laughs> but let's, but let's talk a little bit about <laughs> All-Star Weekend. Uh, it wow. left much to be desired. Mm. Started Friday during the Rising Stars game when Wimby's team got upset by the G League squad in the first Shout round. Shout out to G League Ignite. Shout out to G League Ignite. Shout out to G League Ignite. But I'm sure that's not the plans the NBA had. <laughs> We, right. we wanted as much Wimby as possible. <laughs> Saturday was at least decent. Uh, Dame went in the three-point shootout. Zero. Sabrina Inescu and Steph Curry going head-to-head in a three-point competition. It's a Lexa to it. Looks similar to a, a competition that we do here on Gills Arena, known as the Gills Shootout, presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoop, 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 whoop. Sabrina put up a... Yeah, that's the weird, that's the weird turnaround she did right there. Going to the baseline side. Mm-hmm. You she said she liked to shoot from the left. Oh, she liked to shoot from the left? Yeah, she said, yeah, she said she liked to shoot from the left. So Sabrina put up 26 in the first round, which would have been good enough to make the finals and tie Dame's uh, three-point shootout. Championship score. But then Steph came through. Losing no chick. <laughs> Hold it down Steph came through, put up 29. Hold it down for Steph. 10 seconds. <laughs> Going hard on the money ball rack. Oh, hard on them, baby. Oh, yeah. Little dance to boot. Hey. Hey. So Steph put up a Steph Rulis 29 piece, take home the championship belt. Uh, just around the couch. What did we think about that, Steph versus Sabrina three point shootout? Probably the most intense thing the whole weekend. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that good or bad? That's great. Okay. I mean, that is great. I mean, to be honest, I don't know if they haven't realized upper management and people who, you know, sit in offices all day. Usually anything that has to do with one-on-one competition is usually taken seriously. Absolutely. You know, pride, your pride individually is on the line. So, you know, there was no chance uh, Steph was going to lose and there was no chance that Sabrina wasn't going to come out there and do what she did. Yeah. Right, it's just whoever's the better shooter. And salute to Steph, too. Seems like a, a no-win situation for him, right? Expected to win. 
but if he would have got smacked, he would have got packed up for mm-hmm. for all eternity. And shout out to Sabrina. <laughs> shot with the WNBA ball, but shot from the NBA three point line. She shot yeah. from the NBA. Yeah, she yeah, shot. She did. She, no excuses. That was that was she wanted to just come out. Mm-hmm. And shout out Kenny Smith. Uh, hey, I mean, a lot of opinions this weekend. Twenty. I mean, twenty six from the NBA. Yeah. Ooh. Gee, you like trying to hit at something. You talking about that one on one? Anytime one on one is taken serious, what you trying to hit at? I mean, that's just life, right? Yeah, I mean, right. Life, yeah. life is anytime it's just one on one with someone, it, it, your skill is just your skill is required. Then you know that person always takes it serious. Like you're not gonna be out there embarrassing yourself. So she wasn't gonna come out here hit 15. He wasn't gonna come out here and hit under 20. So, so basically, what you're saying is we need to add. A- they wasn't gonna get 12. No, they wasn't gonna get 12. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> 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 See, that was like a group thing. That's a Gil Zarina shootout I, inside joke. I, I did not see that Hellmaker coming, boy. I hey. would have shut the fuck up on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I done set myself up. God dang. But yeah. <laughs> so, Gil, Gil, you're a forward thinker, man of the people. Gil, you got me. You got me. You got me. <laughs> Gil, forward thinking. Uh, $35 cap on Ace back in the day, uh, <laughs> the impact it had on SoCal. But you also had this idea a few years ago. I think we have a, a text conversation that you sent over. You said, I think the WNBA should be allowed to compete in the NBA three-point contest and skills challenge. Now, that would be exciting. You all said, now, if a female wins or becomes runner-up, she's God. Imagine Sue Bird almost beats Curry or beats Curry. This was a couple years ago. 2021. Before she retired. So, so that lets you know <laughs> that it's, it's validated. Okay. But uh, was this a pivotal moment for the women's game? I think uh, the NBA did a great job really embracing WNBA, giving them a lot of love this weekend. I think so. Um, they've been asking to get more showcase, um, get paid more, and this is a way to do that. In order to get paid more, you know, you have to have something that's entertaining that the people want to watch, and they have to know who you are. And so Sabrina... <clears throat> She held it down for the ladies, and she didn't make no excuses. She shot with her ball, but she shot from the, the men's line. So I think it's a more of appreciation. Casual fans can now appreciate some of the women's players, and it showed that they had some talent, and maybe they'll you know, want to go and watch. And obviously, the more eyeballs that go watch them play, yeah. the, the more demand they have to be able to possibly you know, make more money so they don't have to always go overseas and then come and play here. They can just you know, play one sure. season. For sure. So... Uh... There's been some talk. There will be a rematch. Uh, can you, should they do the rematch at WNBA All-Star Weekend? Would that be a good look? And should they expand it out? That would be a good draw for them. Mm-hmm. I think they should do it at WNBA Weekend. That would be, um, be All-Star Weekend for uh, us? Uh, uh, yeah. Summer League. 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 Yeah, they got the Olympics. They got the Olympics. Oh, oh. Yeah, no, but I think it definitely should be, if they're going to do a rematch, if, if Steph is available, to do it, then do it during that weekend because they, I didn't mean to laugh, laugh for sure. So she said, said the WNBA is like on a, on a, also, yeah, it was like on a random like Wednesday. <laughs> random and before, Thursday. Like before I knew it, I laughed, but it's unfortunate, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. That, but so to draw more attention to yeah. it, then they should do something like that. that Vegas um, last year expanded it out, I believe it's in Phoenix this yeah. summer. So I, I think so they're making some cities like yeah. that. Having a good city, having they need good to, cities. Having a good cities matter, more advertising and doing something like that. I think, but moving forward, I, I, I think people make it too much of a thing that she shot from the male line. She's a shooter, so I think she not. And yeah, she's not tripping on that. She's she not tripping on that because where she's working on her game from, mm-hmm. I understand like they line is close, but she's a shooter. She, and that's and that's right? the thing with that's the thing with uh, women's basketball. They consider themselves hoopers. So yeah, they don't want a disadvantage. And that's what. So <clears throat> she was gonna do that no matter what. Like mm-hmm. she 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 on. I'm gonna shoot it from wherever. Mm-hmm. I think they need to bring more WNBA players to it and have it, like, if it's four NBA to top four or whatever, then you have the top four WNBA shooters and make it a competition yeah. thing or make it whoever make it to the finals. Like, yeah, I think you should sure. have it a real, like, son, like co-ed kind of a situation. Or have one, the, uh, the male champion play against the female champion. Yeah. But see, like, but, but <clears throat> the only reason, the only thing I don't like about this one was mm-hmm. that... Steph couldn't compete in the NBA yeah. three-point contest. That's the only thing I didn't I like, like about that. it. So there needs to, they need to figure out something. He could have. I mean, he could have. He could have. If anybody could have done it, 
He yeah. could have done it. Yeah. Like, like, but, yeah. like I, I think that it should be some type of, um, the, because it's one round, two rounds, right? Yeah. Top four, mm -hmm. put him in, make the rounds a little bit longer, make mm -hmm. them, make it twelve, right? Right now we have what? Four? Six, no, eight. Eight shooters. eight shooters. Make it twelve shooters, and four comes from the WNBA. If, if the league was smart, they and would. And put then in, put in actual shooters, like actual real shooters. <laughs> like, people who get, fuck the percentage. That's, that's, you, you, you don't know who, I mean, I Luke Walton was leading the league in three-point percentage at one point. You, you take one or Arizona two. Arizona brethren, he's not but a I'm good. I'm just saying, okay. like, that is not an NBA three-point shooter. Okay. Like, you have to really dissect what is an NBA three-point shooter and have real shooters in the NBA. That is the real problem. Because there's some guys that, they're... Fourth quarter shooters on the pressure shooters that doesn't translate to the three point contest, right? So, you know, have eight real ones. No matter what the percentage is, you know these guys are actually NBA shooters. And then you add, you know, um, the second round of uh, WNBA. So, if the league was smart, they would do an open trial. Let anybody come from all across the country <laughs> to participate to to make it to a, the final shootout. We don't discriminate based on gender. Whoever put the best scores up. And give away a grand prize, I feel like, somewhere in the $100,000 range. I think I heard that somewhere okay. before. All right, just making sure Gil Shoot, I presented my underdog fantasy. You know, the, We've been ahead of y'all. <laughs> but no matter how much the, the, the NBA supports the WNBA, the WNBA still needs to fix their internal problem. That's going to always be an internal problem, right? Um, hard cap, right? A hard cap actually hurts the league. The reason is that means it's fair. It's fair, right? You know, talent so, ain't fair. So the billionaires have to play on the same field as a millionaire, right? You you need a billionaire to do what he does best: bully, use his money, bully the field, right? Overpay players, which means now the millionaires have to go out and get different capital, right? The computer they got to sell their business, and they have to sell their business to somebody who's richer than them, right? And then now you let money fight money. And then that's what enhances everything. Three. As long as there, as long as there is, there's a hard cap. A billionaire is handicapped from bullying. So if he's handicapped from bullying, that means a millionaire is surviving. Yeah. If a millionaire is surviving, that means your product is shit. That's not. Yeah, that's right. And then I'm, from there yeah. is the top five, the, the five top, top the top five biggest names in sports or women's sports and who right now. What, three of them are in college, maybe? Two of them in college? Mm -hmm. That's a problem. That's a problem. There's nobody in college basketball that was ever bigger than any NBA name. Now, huh? like you can say Zion, but he still wasn't. He wouldn't have cracked top five. No, he wasn't and, taking a step. Yeah, he wasn't still LeBron, yeah, Katie, and him at that time. So yeah. the fact that you do have two, three girls' names that are bigger than WNBA names, that's your problem. That's your money. Your money is sitting here. In college. <laughs> yeah, it's sitting in the college. Next. And then there was the bad news where uh, uh, Paige Buckner said, I'm coming back to school. Yeah, That's back. not a good look for you guys. I don't know. She's making more money, though. Making right? Money. Like, yeah, it, you're, you're the, first pick, the, first pick, the first pick in the draft is Indiana, right? Yep. Who are they going to pick? Uh, Caitlin Clark, Clark, if I had to guess. Bad for your business. I'm sorry. Bad for your business. You have the biggest name going to Indiana? Ooh, Lord Jesus. Marketing's about to go out the roof. Uh-huh, let's see how many shoe deals she gonna get in Indiana. Mm -hmm. There's a reason, there's a reason Sabrina is fucking the face of the NBA. W what city is she in again? Uh, New York. Mm -hmm. New York City. Boss. Them, L them LA girls? Juju. Nah, them LA, them, them Sparks oh. girls, huh? They, what they doing, TV now? They all on TV, they all doing TV. Yes, that matters. So I don't know how you want to rig it <laughs> for L.A. or Chicago, whoever, to get the number one pick. Or you, I mean, don't 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 uh, Sparks have the second pick? Sparks have the number two pick in the WNBA yes. draft. Like if I'm if I'm trade up. No, if I'm uh, let's see who who's who's supposed to be the number two pick this year. Uh, probably Angel Reese, but mm -hmm. no, I don't know. Mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Like if I'm if she gonna be L.A. Spark. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. They got so many picks. She's going to be an L.A. Spark, even though she's not, like, I don't know where she is. But they have so many picks, right? Two, they got like two, three, five or some shit like that, right? 
She will be picked by, they, they're going to want, they want to want to sell that. Mm -hmm. Clark's supposed to be here. This is where you want to put that product here. That product, you're... she the female Steph Curry. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. That's she what I'm saying. You sit in this small market she that don't do nothing for your one. game. Not at all. Bro. She's the one. Well, we will she see. She is entertaining to watch too. Yeah, no, no, no that's what I'm saying. That she will bring yeah, the eyeballs sure. to the TV for, yeah, for sure. sure. For sure. That's what I'm saying. I know that Tamika Catch is one of the baddest WNBA players ever. And and where was she at? Yeah, Indianapolis. <laughs> yeah. Indiana, right? Mm -hmm. See anybody? I will. All right. I mean, I, you should learn, you should learn from the, the NBA. Them, they, the, that that uh that team is having a hard fucking time trying to get people to see you know who their players are. But what do we know? What do we know? We just, Here Gilbert, we're just viewers. Okay. We're just viewers, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Gills presented by Underdog Fantasy. Uh, so let's talk about the dunk contest because uh, we have to because it happened. Uh, had a little hype surrounding it with Mac McClung defending his title. Jalen Brown becoming the first all-star to enter the competition since 2017. Uh, judges offered a mixture of hate and confusion with some questionable scores on several dunks. So uh, Mac McClung did this with his first dunk. It was his second attempt, but on his first dunk. The glasses on them. <laughs> came through. That's a 10. Oh That's a 50, That's by the way. Been done. I am shocked. They did a dunk. He did a dunk. And if he didn't miss the first time, I would have thought it was him. Like, he fumbled the ball, but obviously he intended to do that. Yeah. Did, that's did a, not get. That's a fifty dunk. What y'all looking funny for? Didn't get a fit. You're not giving her a fifty. That, oh, 50. 50. Who's okay. that one? Who's that older gentleman? Darnell I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to talk uh, about the but old that, school oh, NBA. You didn't understand what? Oh, well, he come from the eighties. Seventy. 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 Yeah. He was yeah. ABA. He was with one of the ABA. Yeah, you I think. see why they must there you have killed. They be doing shit like that. Gave like, him a seventy. Why, why they still well, one? <laughs> Okay, why are they still dunk? Why are they still judging dunk contest? Why they, why these old dudes still judging the dunk? Like, like connect the like, game, Gilda. Connect the game. Who? Cool. Old and new. Man, highlight him, but let, don't let him judge because he don't even know what he saw. Did you see what he just did? He, bro, no. That's a fifty dunk right. They should be able to replay it so they can see replay it, replay it before you write down the yeah. shit you see. Like, like, see. All right, now judges, y'all seen every oh, they angle. Need to see replays. Yeah. So the judges actually do because I was wondering. They that. can, but they, they already can. they already looking they down. They'll be looking up. Sometimes they don't look up on the jumbotron. They don't be looking. No, they up. should get it right on their joint. Yeah, they should yeah. be looking. Because so I was watching that. I was I was having that same thought watching it. It's like yeah, you can't see what they're really doing yeah. in real time. So let me see it real time, then slow mo, yes. back and forth. Like it's, it's like <sighs> I'll take it out of the judges' hands because obviously they didn't been fucking up for years now, right? <laughs> Put it in the fans' hands. This should be something that the fans vote for. Because, I mean, you can't do no regular-ass windmill and really think you're going to get a 50 out of the fans. Right? So I would put, I would, the dunk contest should be in the fans' hands. I don't mind having judges, but just make sure the judges is in tune with what's going on. A guy a little bit out. Like, you know, what, is little wrong, older. what is wrong with consistently having guys that's won the motherfucker judge the dunk contest? That's what is the issue here? What, why, why, why is this a fucking thing all the time? Like every year, somebody up there that shouldn't be judging the dunk, that ain't never dunked before. <laughs> Dude, let's just call it like, having people up there ain't never touched the rim before. Yep. Why are you judging the dunk contest? Or you dunked in the 70s. Oh, oh well, dude, like. Yeah, you did a one hand, <laughs> you did a one hand dunk. Uh, Cause they forced you to go. So forced. You, there's been enough winners from the year fucking ninth, what, 2000. Yeah. Enough winners from 2000. Mm -hmm. You had 24 fucking d years. <laughs> you said it right. Forced. You they can't force no old. They no, 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 no. I'm saying they forced them back it, then. To back be, then it was forced. So when people talk about all these elite dunkers competing, yeah. they were forced yeah, to participate. Just, what's wrong with getting guys that they had Fred Jones that he judged? He can judge. Why not have it? They tried to have people that five guys up there that's that's wanted that play for the Pacers or because you're bringing them there anyway. But Yo, you're bringing them to All Star. They they going they coming anyway. Yeah. A lot of guys that's they going anyway. Yeah. This is it. Just like we like a dunk. Too much sense. Came a dunk. What I'm saying. Sense. Too much that sense. Makes right. Too much sense. My bad. I didn't mean to. Sense. I didn't mean to make sense on yeah, this Monday. Yeah, 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 a dunker because one a dunker knows how hard this dunk will be, right? Versus someone who just watching like oh yeah. And I well, think we can appreciate creativity. Shit, when, when it, it don't look like uh, Dominique Wilkins one did. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> like, bro, stop. Let, so let you mean to shit. tell me Zach Levine, Aaron Gordon? 
They can judge. Derrick Jones, Jr., like, do, do dudes can't? Like, I, I feel like they would be available. Like, even the guy, he's playing right now. He still can judge. All yeah. three of them. Can, that was nice. That was, yes. Oh, <laughs> Shit, I ain't I wish never. I can do that. Yeah, I ain't never seen that one. <laughs> Man. But it's like, so. We, or guys that's been out of the league for a few years. You know how you know how bad it is? You know you know you did a bad job after the dunk, all the NBA players, when they look at the score, all the ones on the side, like, oh. Like, what is that? <laughs> No, when they go crazy for the dunk and then they look and they see it's a 47 or like 48, they like. And there was a 46 given out at one point. It was uh, left some some people scratching their head. But we also had Jacob Toppin, who did this. That's right. Let's go, Jacob. Probably one of the more egregious snubs of the year. Wow. I don't think his brother Obi even Drewski. Extremely impressed by it. The second dunk. That's not what I just that's said. That's the elite dunk. There, there's no. Okay. The, go ahead. That's the elite dunk right there. Hmm? That's a what? Okay. That's a solid dunk right yeah. there. Are we penalizing or, or, or not? I Like that's. That, that's I don't know the, if they are, but. That's the thing. Are you penalizing or not? Because if you say you're not, and then that happens, and then. It looks like he's been penalized. That's a problem. Yeah. And then if you're gonna penalize, there's need, no time, right? No time. Fuck it. What the fuck is the time for? Because it don't matter if he gets the dunk off. You're gonna fuck him up anyway. Yeah. Can you didn't think that was deserving of a fifty? With that? Yeah. It's, uh, for him? <laughs> no, I'm just. I'm looking at guys that's been in dunk contests, right? I'm judging the history of it, like real live. Dunk like that, like fingertip joint. He made it, but still, mm-hmm. like no, nah, it's like it's a dunk contest. Like, and I'm talking like the guys who, like Vince wasn't barely throwing that bitch in. Mm-mm. Nah, Mm-mm. Um, Jason Richardson wasn't barely throwing that bitch in. Desmond Mason wasn't barely. Tracy McGrady wasn't barely throwing, even though he didn't win. Like they wasn't barely making dunks. Is what I'm saying. Like that's a fingertip dunk. Like. Mm-hmm. That's some shit that you trying in warm ups. Be like, oh shit, I did it. <laughs> yeah. Right? I mean, motherfuckers jump so high. They just they throw shit in like, now. I'm talking like a real dunker. That's yeah, that's a real ass motherfucker over. who hate the rim. You, yeah, like, like <laughs> so this is <laughs> me. I'm like, like the rim took his lunch money or something. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> Harold Miner wasn't barely dunking the ball. Mm-hmm. Facts. Fuck, even Spud Webb wasn't barely dunking the ball mm-hmm. at five seven. Mm-hmm. It's all I'm. The history of it is. Like the kid Matt McClung, like fueling the dog, like he like I don't know, he made that mother, like he meant a couple of them joints. So like I was like, oh, that was a little power behind that one. Even, even though I'm, I'm he ain't pl- got no NBA legs yet, mm-hmm. but I I give him credit for what he's doing. He being creative in his That's his element. That's his element. Mm-hmm. But some of this other shit I'm saying, like, no, nah, I'm not impressed. Like with the he made it, but yeah. it's not a Do you feel like guys, guys, it's less impressive, so top is six eight, but you got Spud five seven, you got Nate Robinson five nine. Have they kind of set the bar on with the dunk? No, it can be taller guys that do it, but if you gotta be Aaron Gordon, you gotta be swag you gotta be Zach Levine, yeah. right? You, you gotta, gotta be dunking that bitch. Yeah, Trace was already six nine. But that's what I said. He was. That's what I said. We've seen so we've seen so much dunking throughout the year yeah. on social media that you we are those type of dunks don't impress us anymore. Mm-hmm. Right, so unless somebody come up with some real creative shit, you you come up with the Michael Jackson glove. That, come on, yeah. man. You come up with the Michael Jackson. Jump, put your head through the rim. Yeah. Right. You better. Like, it better help you fly. You Ooh, coming through the rim. Better expect you to like, move walk walk in the air. Like, yeah. This motherfucker so did a some, left hand dunk. And the people were like. But he got a higher score for that than that though. I know. That's, a, that's But that's, that's what I'm that's, saying. That's, that's that right crazy. there. That's this nigga crazy. put a glove on who? Now, it was oh, 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 and I was I was watching two things. I was watching UFC and I was watching I was watching more UFC and then when he put the glove on, I was just like, come on, with this shit. But he put the glove on. That, it reminded me of that dude. But, <coughs> in, in, so, in honor of Indian so native question. Michael Jackson. So, but I got a question. Twenty three hundred Jackson Street. I, I hear you, I, but I got a question. Yes, why why the other dude had a right one on though? Who? <laughs> His homeboy. Well, I, 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 just, it's a set. I didn't Very make this shit up. It's a set. A damn show came in the set. We know that. that you, hey, you remember them old high school dunks? What the fuck, man? Remember the old high school dunks where the motherfucker tussy roll before they... Uh, yeah. Da, 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 and then throw it up and go they dunk. Go like, yeah. bitch, that's just a regular dunk. I saw that clip the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I actually... I thought it this morning. He, he was... Da, 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 yeah, yeah. About to twerk. 
<laughs> yeah! It was, gonna dunk. No, it's a regular dunk dunk. It was yeah. a good Tennessee roll, though. Right, no, it's but, a regular ass dunk. Look, cartwheel before the dunk. It's still a two hand dunk. Uh, fuck what you're doing before the dunk. No, what are you doing on the dunk? So yeah. before and after, we got to so say, since you guys mentioned Jalen Brown, like we said, first uh, all So ain't nobody going to answer my question about the glove, though. Y'all just going to skip over no. my fucking question. <laughs> I don't know I why. I don't know why they, they both. I, so, listen. So Joe, you just going to skip over my I, fucking question like I didn't answer. I thought he was going to light the glove on fire or something. Boom. It was going to blow up or something. I thought they had a handshake <laughs> or something. Like it was going to it was gonna shatter the rim of the backboard. It had some technology on it. He didn't want to waste the glove. Look. <laughs> Why the fuck he put it on though? <laughs> what the fuck he did? He he could have just did this. Yeah, just white, pointed to the regular hand. White glove. Hey, shit, chopped off four fingers, motherfucker. <laughs> Clean. I got this. Now I go dunk it. <laughs> you want to like no. <laughs> When he put it on, it I'm like, like I'm over here like, oh shit, somebody search shit about to explode or something. <laughs> that motherfucker the left. Because there's no way you gonna dunk like with a glove on. First of all, you can't no. grip the ball, so. I, well, I guess that was the idea. It's a glove. He can't catch it. Michael Jackson <laughs> tribute. He oh, he should have been moonwalking in the head in. Shit, he should have leaned in it. <laughs> do the, God damn it, do the Michael Jackson spin in the air, nigga. You want to impress me? Shit. <laughs> Who left shit. the towels in the pool? Oh, this yeah, shit was good. Like, I was, no, that was we, give, we give you credit, Jay Brown, for at least being an all-star getting in it, though. So, hey, all-stars on. is done. Okay, all right. We'll Some give all-stars we, is give, we, we showed Jay LeBron love, but he actually did get booed uh, when he tried to show some love to D. Brown. With a no look dunk while jumping over I mean, five bad. foot four streamer legend Kai Sennett, who was sitting in a chair. That was so bad. five foot four <laughs> plus he was. <laughs> look, at this, look, at this, look, look, look. look at the last second. <laughs> oh, this nigga already on the ground. <laughs> Yo, no, go hey, back, go back, go back. So, we see that one so I missed. So, back, so hey, back. I missed the whole on, thing, wait, right? Wait, wait. Yo, now. <laughs> no look. Look at my dad. Look at my dad. Oh. Hey, he did a dab. He hey. no, that was a D Brown, motherfucker. That was a dab. Yo. So the only problem was it wasn't the D Brown, but more like the I can see Brown. Uh, <laughs> Jalen got booed. Then he went number seven two. Yeah, yeah, it's D. He did. He did. What D it was Brown, saying? absolutely. He must have, hey, he must have he forgot what it looked, the dunk looked like. First of all, the dude is 5'4 already. And then you had him sit down with the 3 2. So this, <laughs> yeah. So this, yeah, that's not impressive. So, this, so I missed the whole shit, right? I thought he jumped over Jason Tatum. Like, I'm like, why the fuck is Jason Tatum going out? Like, I thought the little dude threw it. Like, yeah. I'm like, why the fuck is he out there for? Like, what? <laughs> So, Prop. like, people thought I was nuts when no, I stood no, out there no. with Josh Smith with, like, in Denver. Uh -huh. When I threw that, people were like, yo, you ain't in flinch or nothing. Uh-huh. I'm like, I was, for one, I was loaded. <laughs> I'm like, high as a cop. <laughs> what? Man, I saw Josh run. I just, people were like, man, you didn't move. I'm like, what the fuck? Too late at that point. Mm-hmm. Facts. But that's how you do some, like, this, this dude. This dude is already five foot. Yeah. Dude, you five know, foot three, it, five foot four, depending on, on no, where you, you at. You know what makes it even funnier? Oh, shit. The logistics of it was all wrong. So look, yeah. you know, <laughs> D. Brown went up, covered his eyes, dunked it, then opened his eyes. Yeah. Right? So he can land correctly. If you look at Jalen Brown, dunked, closed his eyes on the landing, damn near broke his ankle. Like, look how he came down. He did. <laughs> like, boy, this is what your stupid ass man. So, Jalen. Well, I see that dumb ass. Look how he lands. Look, look, look how he lands. He about damn near twisted. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> on the LED court. On the oh. LED court. So, Jalen got booed for the attempt he by the should Indiana have. Man. As he should have. He should have. And even D. Brown, uh, you know, father of Lexi Brown, who was on our program. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. Shout out to Woo -woo. Lexi. Uh, even D. Brown wasn't feeling it. He posted this on his IG story. So it's not easy doing the no look dunk. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Yeah. Shout out D Brown OG. And shout out Lexi Brown. Mm -mm. He has spoken. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie, Jay, Jay Brown. That, that wasn't it, bro. I mean, I guess he couldn't close his eye because he needed to catch the ball first. Yes. <laughs> Dude. I don't know. It's just a fan of regular mean, game, but I every dunk, it was like. If you're gonna re recreate some shit. You gotta really recreate it. Why like, didn't he just have D Brown out there? Or so, I, I, listen, bro. I guess the Instagram for followers. I guess that made sense. You know, could have had Lexi, but she's busy. Athletes Unlimited getting ready. I'm sure she would take time out of her schedule to pull up. Yeah. Like yeah. I don't know what's the what's the lowest you can get on a dunk contest. It should 40. get your ass. See, that's the that's, that's the, the problem, problem right there. No, you they need 45 to, or 40. They need to give out some actual 40s. 
<laughs> we used to be a proper That right there, like, yeah. yeah. Lowest score. 39. <laughs> give, give him a zero. Just be the shot. Facts. I know 40's a last 39, god damn it. This is crazy. Yeah. So is there any way to bring excitement back to the dunk contest? Because this is Gil's ring. We don't really like giving away ideas without a bag, but in the particular instance, we have to use our powers to save the league. Oh, there's some dudes in the NBA that, can, that don't get a lot of minutes that can fucking jump. Yeah. That, that, that's always been the problem with the <laughs> NBA. They, it's like they missed a curve on all dunkers. Right, so you know James White, I, I, he gets drafted what, 2006, dunk contest 2010. No, 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 get him when he's young. He got young legs. Fact. Same thing. No with, minute legs. Same, same got thing. Them, they got ain't them, no minutes. Ain't. And they got the Mac McClung legs. Yeah. Like ain't got no NBA minutes <laughs> on these motherfuckers. They work great. John Wall, <laughs> you know, you you get him three years after he like everybody you getting that, that yeah. can dunk. You are getting them three, four years while they in the NBA. They that's all. Everybody been, not Vince. Late. They 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 kind of vetted in a, in a sense. Well, Vince was what ninety nine joint right? The two thousand dunk contest. To, to be honest, so the last the right? last superstar to he do a dunk it. was it went from jo Jordan, Dominique, and then probably Dwight Howard mm -hmm. was the last superstar to actually be in a dunk contest. Blake Blake was a rookie. Blake was a rookie, he so rookie. he wasn't a superstar. He wasn't a rookie, neither. Red Kobe shirt. was a rookie. And he wasn't a rookie. So, you know, so when someone like Stephen A. Smith says, uh, LeBron ruined the dunk contest because he never entered, well, the superstars before them didn't enter. Kobe, rookie season. He had nothing to lose. He was a rookie. No one was projecting him to be who he was, right? When he became a superstar, he didn't enter the dunk contest. Tracy McGrady didn't enter the dunk contest when they were superstars. He wasn't even an all-star. Vince... One at one year was the second year in the NBA when he went into the dunk contest. Came in, right? Yeah. He wasn't a superstar, right? So yeah. there really hasn't been superstars, right? There should be, huh? Why? Because there's been superstar dunkers. Why ain't they in there? Back then, it's been superstar dunkers that haven't been in it for the 2000s. That, that maybe could have been in it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so there, yeah, there ain't sure. been superstars in a long time in the dunk contest, right? Yeah. So it's like if you really want to get the dunk contest back to where it's popping. Right, either you go and find real dunkers in the NBA. Like you have, plenty you, of young you, you motherfuckers have the the, the uh, yeah, they work at the combine. Y'all got combine, right? Absolutely, y'all can see. Ooh, shit, he got forty eight. Him, yeah, mm -hmm. running vert, forty five. Him, yeah, <laughs> right. You can you can do that. You got motherfuckers in a dunk contest. Thirty. I might as well have entered that bitch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I would have paid money to see the hundred. Yeah. I but guys, like, but guys like Matt, though, they did their thing, though. I would have gave you that. <laughs> shit, what's the difference, goddammit? Shit. You know what I mean? So it, it's one of those things is... But you had guys that could dunk. Like, Jason Richardson wasn't a star. Um, Desmond Mason wasn't a star. But like, it's guys... But they're getting it right. Guys that could jump. Like, you like you said, they, look, own, they looked at their shit was like, oh. Oh, they focus. The, fans, the fans could. don't care. If you're not going to be a star, they don't care as long as you have a nice dunk. Yeah. So if you got some young talent out there, you know... Like McClung and like Derek, um, Derek Brown a few years ago from the Heat. Derek like, White, that uh, like even Shannon, when Shannon Brown did it. Shannon Brown, Sh Shannon yeah, Brown like, was damn near four years in the NBA by the time he got in there. Yeah, but it's some guys yeah, that can do it. First two years, if you ain't getting them in the first two years, and cause they yeah that's yeah once you once they get established, they be like nah, I'm good. Start right? getting minutes. Start getting minutes. Start getting, yeah, minutes. Start getting start. Once you what, what you do here is like do exactly what you did in the '80s with Michael Jordan, Dominique, forced them. Right with these young dudes, you sign them to three. They, they, now, if you gonna compete, it's three years in a row. Imagine like a John Morant, a Zion, a Aaron Gordon. Zion would have already been in mind. Man, Aaron Gordon and uh, Zach Levine. Soon as he Imagine got that, that first year, he got into the NBA. Boom. So we can now, now shit. <laughs> Man, good job. Yeah. Imagine that. Yeah, don't keep that shit down over there. Yeah, him. <laughs> yeah. On the show, fellas. That's what I said. Him, Ja. That's what I said. Him, Ja. You get those guys, and then you 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 do a deal with them where they have they have to compete the first th that three years straight. Three years straight, like it's three year contracts with the Dunkers. Mm -hmm. I so, make it better. Yo, know, you talked about uh, LeBron getting some blame. So on first take today, Stephen A. Smith pointed to LeBron as as the issue or why the dunk contest isn't as good as it used to be. 
All that other stuff, Hall of Fame, Mount Rushmore, phenomenal, four-time champion, all that other stuff. We will miss him when he's gone, appreciate his greatness, the whole bit. Mm -hmm. The one thing, Shannon, the one thing, I'll even let, Shannon, I'm so serious about this, I'll shut up about the GOAT debate if you hear me out, okay? Okay. The slam dunk contest, I got the stat here, Shannon, because when we're talking about the slam dunk contest from 1985 to 1997, mm -hmm. five of the 13 slam dunk contests were won by future Hall of Famers, Jordan twice, future. Dominique Wilkins twice, Kobe once. Mm -hmm. Michael Jordan participated in the contest three times, Dominique Wilkins five times. Five. Every, every high jumper, every skywalker, every above the rim talent, salivated for the opportunity to compete in the slam dunk contest. It stopped when LeBron James said, I'm not doing it. And from that point forward, the stars who followed didn't feel compelled to prioritize a slam dunk contest. Who was stars, though? Blame Bron. Cool. So uh, let me just say this. Besides LeBron James, since, Le since LeBron James, mm -hmm. <clears throat> came to the NBA. What other stars had that that jumping ability or that could draw like what who who else? Russ. Uh -huh. No, that, no. that had to, that's no. what I'm saying. No. Russ is the same thing as no. LeBron and jumping, it's, but it's, uh, no. They but not, that's what I'm saying. It's not the same. Probably Jaws, I would say is the only Legit. Uh, yeah. Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose. Yeah, D Rose. Derrick Rose. Okay, one. Okay. You got D Rose. You got D -Rose. Okay. Um, mm. I, I'll wait. I, I, I'm with you. I know you, I know you brainstorming over there. I'm, I'm with you. Said like, Dwight. Like, I said the white. I said the white. We the put, white is the only superstar well, since Michael Jordan. Well, he did. Well, well he we did. put Derrick Rose there now because he won an MB, I'm saying MVP. Zion. Right? Zion, if he was healthy. Like, super, oh, like, like said, superstars who could have competed? Yeah. It'd have been but, Zion. But I'm the. Ant Man, that's, God. they now though. That's what I'm saying. Before, that's before, before, that's from old three on. Oh, from old yeah. three on, right? That's, what I'm that's saying. now. Before, nobody else. The superstar should have been. Yeah. Kobe. Yeah. Vince. Yeah. Tracy McGrady. Um. Steve Francis. Mm -hmm. Um. Those would have been the superstar name. Ray Allen, maybe. Leave but that's what I'm saying. Way, they're missing. They're missing the point. You. LeBron didn't do it. Okay, we get that. And that encouraged other ones not to. Kobe do. did it his rookie year. Wanted he didn't defend. He didn't defend it no. when he became Kobe Bryant, the All Star, the All NBA player. The super. He didn't dunk anymore. But he had Vince, already done it though. As a so, rookie, I mean, I'm trying to, to do think it, at since '03, right? Time. But you you come off the bit. What I'm saying is, no one knew you. you and D -Wade. No one knew who you. D -Wade. D -Wade, no, yeah, what I'm saying is, was a dunker. you wasn't a superstar. Yeah, you became a Amari Hall of Eventually, but he was but, still an all star, though. I mean, by Bubba the, was still an yeah, but a rookie, no, he's not a lot of because he's still on the bench, though. But let's be honest, right? But what I'm saying is, why no one said anything that he didn't defend after that, right? Yeah, but Vince saying, Carter, he didn't defend after that. Tracy McGrady, once L he didn't go after that one time, huh? He's saying he L haven't got in there one time, cool. But none of this these should have been his rookie year, but it should have been his rookie year. He would have he would have met the quota, he, like Ooh. if it was because you come in as a rookie, you play in a rookie sophomore game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It should have been fucking mandatory. Yep. Right? You're a rookie. You, we know you LeBron James. Mm-hmm. But you still got R next to your name. Mm-hmm. We pretty much tell you what the fuck to do at this point. <laughs> you a rookie though. You you go to All-Star Weekend, you play in the Rookie Sophomore game, nigga. Your, your weekend, not yours. Mm-hmm. Dunk yep. contest. So <laughs> yeah, I'm just calling what it is. You're gonna be in all that motherfucker. Dunk contest, three point sure. contest, skill contest, goddamn it. Man, they I was gonna fuck up. Take it, take it from a motherfucker who's also the number one pick and played in the rookie sophomore game two years in So, <laughs> yeah. Obligation, damn it. <laughs> they told me where to go, what time to be there. Guess where my ass was? Right there. There at right that there. time. So, <laughs> if they would have told him to show up the dunk contest, then that's what, but they catered to the not want to. Now you suffer from it. Yeah. Like so, the white did it. I think the white did it four times. Or something like that. Like that's what I'm saying. It ain't. He's the biggest name since LeBron. That's that. He's been the biggest. Shit. He's the biggest name since. Yeah. 
As for name, he's the biggest name since Dominique and Jordan. People, yeah. Absolutely. Like, yeah. I don't do your research. He's the biggest name since then. Look, yeah. was a star when he was. Like he was a he was a he real was, superstar. He, was, yeah, he wasn't coming man. off the bench. He got fed. Yeah, he, he was, was a yeah. superstar. MVP, absolutely. Both Blake was a second. That was his rookie season. Yeah. Like like really understand what we're talking about when we're saying players. Like some of these players just became on to be great, but when they were great and they could have filled that arena with their dunk presence, they didn't do it. Yeah. They didn't do nothing. LeBron didn't do. All he all he could have did is just I'ma join the first year, do a little one hand yeah, dunk, do this though, little this this, the little lie. bounce like his influence though. If he would have did it, more people would have did it, for sure. No, people why? Follow, why? People Nobody. But, but we can say that. But people do follow. After him. Michael Jordan, no one did it then. But that's what I'm saying. Where was everybody then? Like we can bl- oh, you. I know you want to blame somebody when Jordan and Dominique stopped. Where was it then? Where was it then? I'm not making like, it right. y'all no make, stars. But I was yeah. like, they making it seem like when it got the Le- star, 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 no. star, star. When it got to LeBron, he was like, nah, I'm good. It was just, not, it, was, it wasn't there anyway. And let's just call it like what it is, right? Most guys that come in this league that get drafted and you supposed to be that guy, right? Your number one thing not jumping. Right. LeBron just gifted in that manner, mm-hmm. right? Derrick Rose gifted. gifted in that manner. You supposed to be like, you come in, you athletically gifted. Most guys not that. Mm-hmm. A bad motherfucker coming in, absolutely can throw that. Like, very rare do you get one draft of Zion and John Morant, mm-hmm. right? One two pick that got that. Very rare. Very rare. Right? Mm-hmm. Very rare if you get that. So. Most guys that has won dunk contests, been in dunk contests, that we look at and get, man, he, should, he get off that floor. Mm-hmm. They not the first guy, the second guy, the third guy, the fourth guy, the fifth. They not drafted. Mm-hmm. Like, got undrafted. Like, they're just what it is. Guys work their tail off to get to where they need to get to, and they just happen to have this gift. Right? Right. Mm-hmm. And they got, I look at my son. KJ get out, has always got off the floor with the best of them. Mm-hmm. Put him in there. Say, teach him how to play basketball, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> now he's able to go and play and display that in the game. And okay, let's. He got him one in, cool. But he know how to play basketball, so he's not the wasn't the first option on the team, second option on the team. He was a fifty second pick. <laughs> That's the person you're supposed to have three years straight. Facts. Right. You're supposed to have him three years straight. He's supposed to, uh, I don't even know where he's at right now, but uh, Cash is Stanley. Cash, Cash is Stanley. Cash yep. put his ass in there three years straight. You got, you got, you got McClung. Yeah. Yep. Now you got you got guys who really got 40 somethings. Yeah. Ant Man can get in 46, 48. Yeah. Ant Man can get in there. I think Anthony Edwards, he, he got a nice little windmill package. He, right. got, he can switch his windmills up and stuff like that, but uh, it's. I just don't like that narrative. Like, you, like this one person. Like messed up the dunk contest moving forward when more stars actually competed since then before then. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to. We don't want to blame him, but his name and impact would have changed things. No, it wouldn't. How, how about the names before him? No, it wouldn't. How about that? What I'm saying is, how about the names before the dunk contest? Or still, still what it is. I think more people would have tried. Would have tried to. to to be in it, just to be in it with him. Okay, so because th- because anything he's he just did be it in. once, but, but yeah, but, just one time. But this is the problem anyway. Two thousand three. The, but this, or, or any year, just do it one time. But it doesn't matter what year. That he was, he was going to put his name no, in. Yeah. There was not, but when he said it, I was like, bullshit. Yo. There was fucking seven years in the NBA. Yo. No. Yeah. 2003, right? 2004 was the All Star game. Mm-hmm. That year. So, it, so who else would have been in it that year? The Vince, <laughs> M- M- Ray Allen, yeah, that, Kobe. One. Like, <laughs> but, dude, those, are, the, those are the stars you're missing. Like, yeah. You're, you're missing the so, stars. And I don't think if Le, in 2003, if LeBron decides he's going to go in the dunk contest, that doesn't make Vince Carter say, I'm going to go be in a dunk contest again. Or I don't think like, he's talking I, about I us, us no. though, talking about how we saying it makes sense for him to do it when he's young. He's talking about 2009, 2010, when we doing it, uh, throwing it off the glass, having dunk contests in our warm-up lines, and fans like, hey, why we ain't... Why well, ain't none of them doing it in the dunk contest? Okay, how about okay? Let's the, how about this dunk contest, right? O three when LeBron comes in, right? Since he's a high school kid, he's favored, in a sense, because if a high school kid, just like Kobe, little little, little East Bay, right? We are gonna give you the fifty, right? So LeBron, T Mac, 
Vince back in it, Jay Rich in it, Desmond Mason back in it. Was Brad right. Davis? Well, what kind of? Huh? Was, was, was BD still dunking back then too? A little bit, but he, a little bit. Right, Steve Francis. Steve Francis, is, right? Braun, now, now, what Braun if, won that McDonald's game in 2000. No, I mean, but what, kind of, dunk, Cleveland, what yeah. kind of dunk contest does that sound like? Oh, uh, yeah. That sound like one a, for the ages. That sounds like a Zach Levine. That sounds like an epic ass epic, dunk contest because epic. you got real superstars. You got real superstars, and you have future superstars coming into the dunk contest trying out their skill. Yeah. I'm with it. Right, so but the, 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 we don't demand we don't, nice. demand, we don't demand nice. our superstars to come dunk. That's why it's, it's better to it's better to do it like this, because you don't know the trajectory of a superstar. If you would have had Vince for you have to enter three years, Kobe, you have to enter three years, right? Tracy McGrady's you had. By the time they made the All Star, went back to back MVP, they still enter in the dunk contest. That's that's what you need. Zion, Ja, like right now, you have a chance to. Shit, fucking Wimby might go out there and try some shit. Uh, they should have made Wimby do it this year just so we could crack up. Wimby gonna do it one year. <laughs> yeah, do it. I think Wimby gonna try everything. He gonna try dunk contests and three point contests. He'll try it with a glove. Hmm. It'll pop as the other glove. He like, Stand, he like that dude on, on Space Jam. Yeah. But, yeah. but, but, but just like, but just like <laughs> anything, just like anything, right? You have dunkers and you have dunk contesters. Mm -hmm. Two different people. Absolutely. That's a fact. That's a right. Fact. So, won't. NBA's, how about you stop picking who, who's in the dunk contest? Won't you let entries come in? Or, Won't you let, so dudes that sitting on the bench that know they got damn near 40 something, so they got some creativity, you haven't seen them dunk before, so you're not gonna put them in there anyway, but let them pit it, let it, let it be a tryout before. I, like Jeremy. I got one better for you. I think you fucking make each team submit one player. Mm, now we talking. Yeah, y'all really? listening? NBA, make sure y'all take yeah. these notes. Each that's... team submit one player. You got fucking 30 people to pick from. You submit. can't get it. You can't. The one thing I can do, if you got 30 people to pick from, you can pick four. Yeah. Why is it four? I don't know. Whatever you can pick four. Because they got to keep it uh, TV. I mean, TV we friendly. Now. We ain't, we ain't well, stop giving day. motherfuckers that's three I mean. minutes. So <laughs> therefore, <laughs> you pick, listen. Therefore, <laughs> you pick. The, you ain't just, you picking motherfuckers that you know can jump. Yeah. You're done. Like, because you would. We all been in the locker room. We've been on the practice floor. The motherfucker practicing. You're like, damn. Yep. <laughs> like. That's a fact. Right. Mm -hmm. Or. I think JR got in the dunk contest. JR was doing shit in practice. I know they were like. My team right now that would have. That could have competed in this dunk contest. We're, we're going to talk about, uh, you know, the G League dunk contest in a second. But perhaps a visionary could come through. Put together a dunk contest of their own, girl. Hey, get what we talking about. See, boop, boop. See, we 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 got we got we got real dunkers hey. in these streets. <laughs> Your name? Oh, we man. We My money's on Anthony. Yeah, yeah, we got with real dunkers. We just came, hey, we just came up with one. We'll All right, NBA, your ass is in trouble because I'm about hey, to pull it out this summer. My money's on hey. Miracola. Hey, we we're Miracola Mill. Duncan. <laughs> hey, now did you see his son? <laughs> so it was. No, I'm not. Y'all didn't see him post his son? Mm -mm. Boosties. His son did the shooting contest, right? So they did a little mock. 2024 Maricola number four dunk contest. I mean, uh, didn't miss. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not surprised. He's coming to get the bag. Ah, shit. <laughs> so we got an audience question on the topic. So just wanted to ask about two young players that we haven't mentioned yet. Uh, do we think we'll ever see Zion do the dunk contest? And would it be a good idea for John Morant maybe during his image rehabilitation to do it next year? Be honest, uh, Zion. No, no. <laughs> you could have had him. You should have had him the first year. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure if if, um, if Ja didn't get hurt, it would have been something he would have did because mm -hmm. the fans would have been rallying around him to win that um, this year. Hopefully next year he enters. But if he doesn't do it next year, then he's not going to do it. I think being that he got a shoe, it's a possibility. Him to feature a new shoe, All Star yeah. Weekend dunk contest, dunk contest like shoe, yeah, yeah, something like that. But get the bag. It would make sense, and he's young. So even if he don't do it next year, maybe the year after next. Yeah, it's tough. It's, it's hard that once once they get into that third year, it's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's you're hard. Five already. Yeah, it don't cool. matter. Once you yeah. get into your set ways, like you're like, eh. Yeah, that's. Right, before we move on, we got to show some love to Jordan Jackson, who was the son of our very own Cheryl Swoops. Don't touch. So Jordan uh, won the G League dunk contest with assortment of dunks, including this one, rocking his mom's Comet jersey. 
So, North, you said you got some, some G Leaguers now who could come in and get the bag. Is Jordan in that mix? Ron Hollins, right now, kid. We're competing with him. Easy. Young Tyler. Young Tyler, he do between the legs, vertical, either way. Frontward way, backwards way, all types of to take off from them far out the dotted line, windmill, left hand, right hand. Young Matas can run and bounce it between his leg, windmill, dunk it like young Dink, who's 17 years old. 100% can dunk with these dudes. All day, they throw it off the backboard and with the same hand, they do all type of crazy stuff See, in practice. And that's the thing, that they're, they're practicing dunk. NBA dudes, you think Jalen Brown, like, that, 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 that shit right there lets you know that he didn't practice not one dunk for that. <laughs> like, oh, hey, it, ooh, hey, got a hat. It'd be worse if he did practice that. Yo, he has the Michael Jackson <laughs> glove. Yeah. Then they going, yeah. all right, y'all ready? You're going to throw it up, I'm going to turn it, and then I'm going to dunk. Yeah, run it up. Left hand. <laughs> Push, sit your ass down. Sit down. So, <laughs> sit your ass down, man. Everybody want to see that shit. We talked about the pre- <laughs> <laughs> Talked about the pre-festivities. Now let's talk about the actual game. Uh, oh, fuck. Before the All-Star game on Sunday, NBA legend, Indiana native Larry Bird, a.k.a. the Hick from French Lick, had a simple request for the participants in this year's game. The one thing I would really like to see is they play hard tonight in this, uh, uh, tonight in this All-Star game. I think it's very important when you have the best, the best players in the world together, you've got to compete and you've got to play hard. And you guys show the fans how good they really are. So, sadly, the players uh, told Larry Bird, shut your old ass up. We're not doing it. Nothing you say. Gave fans a hot pack of mid. Uh, All-star game record, 379 combined points. That's crazy. Combined 168 three-point attempts. 397, excuse me. Combined 168 three-point attempts and zero defense. Uh, also, some extremely questionable moments. Like this one from Luca right before halftime. <laughs> Trying to get the uh Uh-oh. <laughs> West was down 13 at that point. Uh Luca Luca commented on the shot uh from the locker room at halftime. He said two for one, analytics. Um Carl Anthony Towns. <laughs> that nigga, he's funny at least. He's funny. Okay. <laughs> he's funny at least. Yeah. Okay. So Carl Anthony Towns led all scorers with 50 including 31 in the fourth quarter on 19 shot attempts. Uh, the next closest player in the fourth quarter attempts was Steph with five. So during Cat's fourth quarter explosion, Draymond Green offered this astute analysis. This look like the old Minnesota days. Cat got 40, they down 20. <laughs> Cat took, 30, Cat took oh, 35 man. shots in the game, which is nine more than All-Star Game MVP Damian Lillard. Who uh, finished with 39 points, going 11 for 23 from three, including a pair of half quarters. And Dame shooting from half court. Again. Good to see Dame now shaking it off, getting his mind back right for the second half of the season. Uh, so naturally, Adam Silver wasn't pleased with the showing by the stars of the league. And to the Eastern Conference All Stars. You scored the most points. Well, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> I see in hindsight, this shit was actually comedy. This was probably the funniest All-Star weekend, I think, in recent memory. Uh, and terrible. The media wasn't uh, impressed either. Uh, Lakers beat reporter Dan Wokey offered this assessment. He said, all jokes aside, the NBA has an issue with events. Season's too long. Regular season games don't feel special. And on the one night where they can showcase the actual product, the casual fans, general public, this is what gets delivered. It's not great, Bob. So, uh, What's his name? Dan no, Wokey. I disagree. Hey, Dan Wokey, are you going to watch next year? Right, gonna be two, right? right? You, how long we been saying the same shit, right? We've been saying it for, uh, what, eight, nine, 10, 12 years, and your goofy ass keep watching it, complaining, watching it, complaining, right? So either just shut up and then just watch it because it's festivities, or um, go out there and play yourself because. Ooh, media, yeah, I would pay money no, no, for media. No, because what I'm saying is, we're, we're, in a, we're in a sticky situation, right? And the, the situation is this. I, we know you want them to play harder, 
But how hard do you want them to play when after the weekend over, reality kicks in? Right? Like what happens when reality, when this is over, all right, woo, now let's get ready for the playoffs, and now your players is fucked up from the All-Star game. Like when, only because it's, only because it's Kobe, it was different. When he got his nose broke, right? He got his nose broke in the All-Star game, and because it's him, it didn't affect anything. But what happens if it was one of these players, right? Nah, I get Boom, it. ouchie! How many times? <laughs> <laughs> they out for a goddamn month, bro. <laughs> How many times did that actually happen, though? They can play harder and then... But, but we, play, you, we hoop, bro. Like, we hoop. I, 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 like, but it's... We're in this... We hoop every day in our sleep. Ain't nobody I know. get hurt, man. No, I, you, you're right, but at the end of the day, man, like... We're not asking them to play why, so hard. Like, why? Why not? Why? Well, I, that, my, my question is, why? This is a celebration, right? It is. From your, from the hard work you put in during the rest of the season. For the most, for the most part, man. I'm going to the All Star, man. I'm going to Indiana. You going to the Bahamas, right? Like, what, what are you about to do All Star weekend? About to go to Bahamas with the kids? Hey, comparable, listen, comparable. Listen, comparable. Listen, listen, comparable. Why can't listen. I go to the Bahamas? Because you well, getting paid 40, 50 million. Yeah, no, I get paid 40, 50 million for the NBA season. And no, not, not that all star. Star. That's, that's part of so, the sacrifice of being no, a star. No, no, true, true. You just said it's a celebration, right? Mm hmm. So, where the fucking balloons and fucking confetti? They're not, they're not doing it. That's the problem. And shit. Hey, if I do it, I'm like, hey, that's smoke. King Martin. Yeah, Woo! Yeah, smoke. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm Adam with Adam Silver took our smoke, took our took our smoke dude. Right took the smoke. Here. I'm saying? So, and he did. <laughs> NBA came in and took our yeah, smoke, so ladies and gentlemen. I get you. So, why even have a fucking game then? Just have a party. Man, I think half the game, but <laughs> the guys got to be a little bit more competitive. That's all he's but, asking. But, but, we play harder at Rico Hines than, than, than in Austin. Yeah, also, I mean, Shout out yeah, Rico. Because we're trying to you get, get hard but, out there, too. But, but, you can get hurt but, anywhere. But it's, it, for the most part, man, when, like, think about somebody like, we'll say, who was probably the most demanded this weekend? Probably like somebody like, no, nah, not Wimby. Who would be the most demanded probably, going there? Probably Steph. Definitely. And in the game, right? So think about him on his legs, doing this, doing that, and play. He ain't really getting no real rest, right? So for the most part, like, when I went out there, man, I stayed in my room the whole time because I'm thinking about the second half of the season myself. Yeah, but you was going to be good the second half of the season no matter what. That's what you work out all day for. True, but I, I'm, I'm not think. but re, me, my three years, I'm not really, I'm so excited, I don't really care about the game itself. Like, I don't really care about the game. Like, I played nine minutes one year. I ain't give a fuck. I mean, I can't because it was a bunch of Pistons guys going in front of me. But other than that, it was like, man. So I got the jersey. I get whatever. I, the, the, the game itself, like, so I, what is there to prove? So, therefore, what did the NFL do? They took that Pro Bowl took out. That shit, the flag, <laughs> goddamn. We can't do that for the NBA. No, no. I'm just, but that's what we can't. Take it out. They realize what it is. Out, but it's, it's, been, it's been messed up from the beginning. And this is the trickle-down effect from it. One... It's not the best players in the NBA, right? These guys, some of these guys aren't actual all stars. Like right? Some of these guys are products of. No, I don't want to throw names out. Okay. There. <laughs> Thank nah, you, Gil. Hey, like, 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 but there's some years. God bless there's you, some Gil. years. Okay, you think he, he's gone that? But you think Cal Corbett was all star at any point in his living thing? existence of a basketball yeah, no. player? But he made all star game, right? So there's players in the get. What I'm saying is there's. There's players who are not all stars. They're getting put in the game because of their team record. Right there, the integrity of the all-star game is already compromised. But 90% of the time, that 95% of the time, it's the best players. It shouldn't be. It should be 100% of the time, the best players in the NBA. This is yeah. the, the it's biggest... There's no way to guarantee that. You got, yeah, you got injuries. Injuries happen. No, no, no. Okay, that's one thing. You, you take that out of it. Take but he still it. voted in, though. Right? Every now and then. He's still voting on. Fuck that. If he's in the top right now, what, 24? <laughs> top so right now it's the top 24 guys, right? Yeah, yeah, 12 and 12. So. Right? Mm -hmm. That year, who should have been if in? If he's voted in the top 24 players <laughs> and he gets hurt, then you go to number 20. 25. <laughs> then 26. Like, there's your record should that's not. That's one help. time, though. No, that's the should be, it should be like, 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 has, Middleton, be has Middleton ever been an all star? It, it should be 100%. Has he time. ever been a top 24 player in the NBA? That's what I'm saying. You like, gotta judge by that season. You can't that, go by, by that the season. Whatever season he went to the All Star game, was he top 24? I'm Draymond say, Green. Uh, was Draymond Green uh, a 
all star. Great player for his team, but all star player. Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, a long, we can we can go, you can go on every year because what they shit do. on people because they made it, right? Nah, but, but I'm just saying that's one or two players. No, for the every year, year, nigga. Every year. That's okay. What I'm saying is that no. One or two players every year. No. 95% of the dudes oh. playing got their own shoe. They the best player. They make the most money. So if one or two stragglers get in, pretty okay. But what I'm saying is then it's already compromised. The stragglers yeah, get so in. Stragglers because what's happening is the All-Stars are trying to the one that's not playing then, hard, though. So, but they it's taking the place of a guy that's in the top 24, the top you're taking 25, a, You're right? taking the place of a guy who might come in and play hard because he got in. Right? That's what I'm saying. You're already starting to bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> you're already starting to bullshit. You're already starting to bullshit. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if your record is... Motherfucker, one in thirty-five, and you averaging fucking twenty-eight. Man, no, I ain't Damn rolling, it. man. Even the fans get nah, that right. Yeah, it's it's no. all start the no. best players, not the best team. So if, this if game, we call it this the spade, right, spade, right? Was the best players? Was this the best players in the league playing in this All Star game yesterday? No, um, <laughs> no. Who, 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 I'm not finna I mean, You wanna go there? Yeah, yeah I do. Oh, we gonna go yeah, there. Yeah, we gonna go there. Tell, so listen, tell me yo. who. Oh, he pulled the phone nah, out. Nah, pull it out. Which one of them should have been in there? He pulled the phone out. Oh, no. Which one of them should have been in there, K-Mar OG? You don't went digital. The notebook has been replaced <laughs> I know you, with the phone. Talk to me, talk you to me, OG. Which, which one shouldn't have been in there? You can go, you go. I'm gonna go here. I, the names that I saw in there, so 90%, all of them. Was, see, 90%. So who's that, so, who's that 10%? Scotty Barnes. Hey, hey. Hey. Could you burn some So he's not having an all-star season this year? Is he top 25 player? And then about yeah. that, is he having an all-star season is this year? Is he the top 25 in the NBA right is now? Is Brunson having an all-star game this year? Oh, New York. He's worthy. Worthy. Is Paolo is Panchero having an all-star game this no, year? No, Panchero is no. worthy. No. Yes, he is. Paolo, no, averaging 20. I can find you 100 people averaging 20. In what? 20 in the in NBA. What? No, he's averaging 20. He's more than that. 20. How many rebounds? Then fucking put Wimby in. in. Hey, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wimby, Wimby is, Wimby's having a better year than... Is he? Yes. I, I, is he? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. They got the same record. They got the same record without Wimby Gil. and with Wimby. So is he really an all star like that? I mean, I don't 23, know. 23, 7, and 5 this year, Gil? Three, tough. 23, 7, and 5. Paolo Bancaro. Yeah. That's Wimby's number. And, and they, and they I think, team. I think his five, I think Wimby's averaging about 3.5 blocks. And they got the same record from when they didn't have him. I don't know. So, so, so 20.5 rebounds, 3.2 assists, and a, a league leading 3.5 total blocks per game. Panchero's supposed to definitely been in there. So let's keep going. No. You, know, you want to keep going? <laughs> Mm, yeah. You ain't gonna be able to name nothing Cause you be know mindful. Steph and Giannis and all them deserve to be in there Brian, all them, Paul George, they all deserve so Bam, to be in so there so, so, right so Bam having a better year than, than Wimby? Bam is an all-star for sure Is he having a better year than Wimby? I'm taking Wimby. Bam over in, in, right the Eastern yeah, Conference. Conference. in the Eastern Conference, We're not yes. talking about the team in the Eastern. About, I'm saying So yes, let's go Bam. team so I'm saying Bam doing is an all-star, 100% right? So Please somebody get a pen and paper out Go to top from Who's the best player in the NBA? Giannis, to me, or Joker, Giannis so that, or Joker. So that's Giannis, one, Embiid, two, Embiid, three. Embiid, three. Embiid hurt okay. right now. I, I, I mean, but I'm mean, still fucking it? made it. Embiid. Okay, Embiid. Top, okay, well, Embiid. So we finna go to top 24 players Giannis, in the NBA. Giannis, Joker, Embiid, them three for sure. In the okay. top 20, so okay, keep going. So. Uh, uh, Steph. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shea Gill. Okay. KD. Okay. Uh, Bron. Kawhi. Mm -hmm. Kawhi. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jokic? Yo oh, we already said Jokic. Okay. Okay. We already said KD, do we say We already said him too. Okay. Booker? Booker, Dame. Luca, Kevin Durant. We said him. KD. You said KD yeah, already? Said him. Okay. Tatum. Tatum. Okay. Uh, we go Lillard. Dame, somebody. I said Lillard. That's, we got okay. nine. Okay, Burton. We got nine. Hallen Burton. Right. In the NBA right now? Okay. Yes. It was some, some people say Jimmy Butler's in that conversation. Jimmy Butler is right? in that conversation. Okay. 100%. I'm just, okay. Yeah, 100%. AD. Yeah. Deserving. Top 24? Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell deserving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Brunson. I would have said Sabonis. De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox, who's not in there. Sabonis. I'm not saying them over Bam. I'm not. Sabonis. Wait, 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 I'm not wait, saying them over Bam. I'm saying Bam, I'm going to buy you over him. But, but we're just saying, top 24. Top Let me know 24. when. So Bam is in front of Fox? I'm saying Bam. I think that Bam is better than Sabonis. That's what okay, I mean. how about I Fox? Said, Fox is having Okay, so he's not in there. Fox. No, you could, Fox, what do you mean? Fox. So he's, he didn't make it. He didn't make Fox it. Fox Sabonis didn't make it. He didn't make it. it. So Everybody can't. Because so I, I, so I don't think Sabonis is top 24. Yeah, I don't think that okay. either. So Fox is. Okay, so Fox. You think okay. Fox is too? In this NBA? Yeah. Yes. Where we are, right? So we got yeah. Trey Young. How about Maxie? Yes. Maxie. Yeah. Maxi. Trey Young, Maxie. PG. We said him. PG, so we got PG. Y'all yes. saying these names is hands down over who though? This is top 24, so we're gonna get to 24. And, and then, then we're gonna, we gonna, name, then we gonna start. We're gonna name everybody yeah. who's 
So, so we ain't even Paolo yet. Listen, we ain't even Paolo Everybody we just named is an all-star right? except two we people. We said Paolo. I don't know if you guys agree. I'm about to say, because no. I think Paolo Pinto should be in, in, in this. Jalen Brown? But is Paolo top, a top 24? Top 24 players in the NBA right now? Maybe. He means you. He, he, he not USA. Maybe. He team we're USA. We're not talking uh, maybes. Some Cole, of these is maybes. Because Cole, after the top no, 15, this ain't fucking after maybe. the top 15, it's, it's none questionable. Of, none of the people that we've named yet nah, is a maybe. Is, yes, it is. So, Who? Who's maybe? And I'm talking Who? about it's people that you can compare with them. Carl Anthony? Name. Who? What is he? Is he top 24? Carl Anthony Town? Yeah. I, don't, okay. I don't have him over Bim. I don't think he's better than Bim out of Bayou. Or Paulo Pintero. I don't think he is. I don't. I don't think he is. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Gil's Reader presented by Underdog Fantasy. So, what, so where does Bam fit on, the, in, in your Ooh, opinion, what? in the list of 24? Where does Bam fit? Bam is At right. the position that he plays. The last four names you name, Bam could be in either, any of them. I didn't ask you. I, that wasn't my question. I'm Lord. just telling you that, though. In but, your opinion, where does Bam Adebayo fit in the top 24 players in the NBA? Between 20 Is he top 10? No. Is he top 15? No. Is he top 20? To me. He's so he's, so 20, Bam out of Bayou. 20 and 24. Between 20 and 24 for me. For, because he's the, best, big. he's the best two-way player in the as league. As a big. As far as offense and defense and so he's better, all around. So, 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 so he's better than as a big, Anthony Davis? As a big. So, as so a big. he's better than Anthony Davis? As a big. So he's better than Anthony Davis? No. Not offensively. So therefore you said he's the best. So therefore uh, you just said all around. I think he is. Now, you just said all around. He is. Defensively, I believe he is, and he assists better, play make better. He just don't score better than Anthony Davis, but he shot blocks just as good, if not better. He switches and plays man to man defense just better. He he play make handle the ball. How many rebounds Bam had? Uh, Bam Adebayo Probably is 13. averaging 11, right uh, 10.6 rebounds, so 11. Yeah. We'll give him. No, it's 10.6. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, hey, it ain't, hate, game, it ain't I'm not even. That means some games. He got some eights and some sevens in that motherfucker. Hey, he so, is. So right now, so so you mean to tell me so Bam what? is better than in your? But so Bam is twenty to twenty four. We named AD way in the top fifteen. No, though. we didn't so put AD down here. We put AD in the top fifteen already. I, are we not? I didn't ask you about Anthony Davis. Uh, well, you just asked. I me said, I is, is he better? I'm talking about where is Bam? So Bam is twenty to me. To I think twenty twenty. So he's the so and Bam is top twenty five player in the NBA. To me, he is. To me, he is. So Ja. <clears throat> John not playing right now, but, but I'm mean, dude, dude, stop the bull. So now you're splitting hairs. John not playing. God damn. But I'm just saying. But but what? is y'all playing right now or not? If everybody's not, fucking healthy, he not, but we talking about the All Star game no, this year. We said name 20, who shouldn't be in it this year. That's what, that was the conversation. Top twenty four guys in the NBA. Now John for sure is. John top ten to me. If everybody's healthy, they can put their fucking shoes on and go play a basketball game today. Yeah, Josh for sure. But but this is but this is but, <laughs> but this the All Star game. Everybody's not playing. You have guys but, who are not playing. You have guys who are hurt and guys who are not eligible to play. So we can't just keep. But this yo, is why yo, we don't. But this hey, is why when we're. Hey, no, it's my leg training ain't that strong. But this is why we. This, but this is why we don't. Moving, respect, keep moving, huh? That's what I said. We don't respect. <laughs> that's why we don't respect. I'm not Harrison Buck. Why? How you, how you don't respect those? <laughs> because All Star. Be, so we, everybody in the All Star game, none of them dudes deserve it. No, maybe it's some argu- maybe it's some arguable people who may deserve it just as much. But you can't say they don't deserve that, it. At that's all. why all NBA. That's why all NBA is more important. It is more because important all, me too. because important to me. all NBA means you was the dude. Right, you are top fifteen. But all you is the elite. end of the season, though. All star is where all star is. Yeah, so we have to go by what's going on up until this. Yeah, there's some people who average, so up until this point, some people who deserved even, it. Some people who didn't even play. Some people who on good teams, right? So you want, there's people who didn't make the All Star so they second this. team All NBA. That's a long season, deal. No, more no, no. That means. Y'all screwed him. And the voters are different too. The voting is different for all NBA. That's, the voting is much the voting different. The voting is about the voting is about basketball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the, voting is, the voting is much different. It's about basketball. So I know. That's, that's, I why, that's why it's different. I, get you. I agree with you. I, I agree remember that. I, somebody made a bunch of they people. Made a, made a, they made a mistake on you. A bunch of people made the all-star in front of me. And then, you know, when, <laughs> w- when all NBA. NBA came in, where y'all at? <laughs> Uh, where, where y'all at? Oh, y'all not. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that was a mistake. Who y'all not, did that? Y'all not top players. Y'all just part you, of a, a team so that was good. So none of these dudes didn't deserve to be all stars. I'm not some, saying that. But I'm just saying I want to see the best I asked you a players. Specifically, quick. I asked you a specific question. Those are the best question. players though. That that can play. The guys we talking about can play. Joel and B hurt. Josh hurt. We all know he they deserve to be in it. But then y'all can't name. I mean, Fox didn't get voted by who? Who? He, who how did he miss? Either he didn't get voted by the fans or no, the coaches didn't feel like he was. No, won. they vote. They vote because what happened is you get your vote in, mm-hmm. and then when they get this vote in, someone goes in there and manipulates the vote, <laughs> and then they start adding, <laughs> oh, conspiracy. we need winning. We need to put some winning in here. We we need to reward this team. And th- so winning don't count at all? Huh? That, that ain't part of what make you an all-star? Nah. When you're that good, you can make at least your team a little bit better. You're the third option? How you make an all-star? You're the third option. 
man. Listen. You're the third option on your team. You making an all-star game? When we start naming players that changed their team's trajectory as soon as they got in, Wimby's record is the same as when he wasn't there. So you're going to put him in over Paolo Pintero? Are you kidding me? We saw what Orlando used to look like, and since they got Paolo, look what they look like. You since they got him like? or since a couple years? A yeah. couple years since they? A couple years. Yeah. Like, but directly, he, his trajectory then took their franchise, boom, right up. Like, so now we're comparing a rookie to a guy that's been there for a couple years. All I'm saying is y'all can't say Paolo Pinchero don't deserve to be an all-star. That's what I'm saying. We can't say he don't deserve to be an all-star. I didn't say just don't deserve, but I mean... I can't say that. I, I, I can't say that. I mean, let me see. <laughs> Paolo's in his second season. Just Two. Okay. FYI. That's it, a FYI. He was putting that shit together before he got there. Understand. Hey, man. All I'm were saying Were they or were they not? Hmm? Huh? They was putting that shit together before Paolo got there. When, when you were, when you were all star and you like that, that shit together you have some type of impact there, right? on winning. That's all I'm saying. But has he taken that team to another level? I'm not. No. The, answer, 20, the team, mm -hmm. 34. Yeah, sure. They were putting it. Let me ask you this. You put, if you're baking a cake. Mm -hmm. Stop, Kmart. Stop. Don't do, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that, If you're baking a cake. <laughs> if you're baking a cake, right? <laughs> got to have some ingredients. You got to have some fucking ingredients, right? <laughs> They had all the shit up on the counter and was like, Don't do that. What makes the cake the best thing? The frosting. No, I, oh, okay. I would say the ingredients. <laughs> the no, frosting. The no, the, no, the, 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 the fucking sugar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Sugar make the, you can make a cake without, you can't make no cake without sugar. That's fair. Maybe okay. fucking flour. I'm not, I'm not mad. Right? I'm not mad. You got all the shit up on there, you, you add that main ingredient, you got a fucking excellent cake. I'm not mad. I'm not mad that he's in there. I mean, like you know, if someone I said, think Jamal was so, if someone said frosting. if someone said his name is, he, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have thought of him. Oh. Right? You know what I mean? I wouldn't have like. Oh no, not him. So maybe like a what, Scotty Barnes. I'm just trying to say who who don't deserve they're gonna be in there. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Everybody who was in there, I thought had a had a right to be in there. Now, is there some that also could have been? Sure, but I think everyone... Those could have been, right? Don't you, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's top 24. Once you start with that, then you have the problem with the game itself, right? Um, the difference between today's game and the past is the three-point line, right? Now that you have a three-point line, everybody want to shoot threes. Take the fucking three-point line out. <laughs> I think the take the fucking three point line out. Ain't no motherfucking threes in here. I think it's the competition. No, no, I bet we can say competition we want, but remember ain't going to the basket. Remember, Magic Johnson didn't play that season. Came in in All Star Game one MVP. Ball, so yeah. I can ask everybody like, how the fuck you let the dude who ain't even in the NBA come in and outwork y'all? That's all I want to say. I mean, we can Gil, say that. Gil was a different time. You know, was going. I know on. it was a different you know time. For Magic right? to come out there and do what he did, well, all things considered, you knew right. he was winning that MVP. And Kmar, you know, you're okay, not letting so. nobody score two hundred points on you no matter what game no, we're playing. You know no, that. But, but what I'm saying is... Nah, hold on, uh-uh. You no, know, am I right or wrong? Okay, so it got to be a little bit of competitive spirit regardless. What is the comp where's the competitive spirit at? How many threes did they shoot? 168 combined. 168 combined. What, what, who's, no one's guarding that far out anyway. They These niggas shoot from half court. They wasn't off from half court, though. But what I'm saying is, I'm sitting at the three-point line. You pulling up just chucking threes. If you want a competitive, take out the three-point line. Take off the 12 minutes. Bump that shit to six. Or just play ball. No. Like you play a Rico no, line. Just no. play a little Bump bit. Bump it to six minutes. Bump it to six minutes. Let motherfuckers start thinking about their time. <laughs> right, you already messing up history anyway. <laughs> right, you, and you already listen. You already messing up history with changing all these rules and adding shit in. You right about that? Right, they messing fucking stuff six up. minutes. Six minutes, goddammit. Six minutes, no threes. The first fucking three quarters, all layups and dunks, goddammit. Start putting rules. Start putting real rules in then. Start putting radical rules in. Because if I if I can if I can shoot twenty threes, twenty threes, bro. I mean, that's how many threes Dame, Dame shot. 23s, 23. Man. 23. He was 11 and 23 11, from. Uh, listen, the year, the year 2005, the MVP, Allen Iverson, had a total of 15 points. Made me think about, damn, if I'd had five more points, I could have won that bitch. That's the dip, you know what I mean? But nobody's sitting there chucking a whole bunch of threes out there. Like, take away the three-point line, make motherfuckers come in there. I had 17 in mine. Like, and I... <laughs> Very efficient. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, but the seven. possessions was different. They was guarding a little different. Like, mm. throwing that bitch up. I was just throwing it up. I was, hanging on, them, I was hanging on them people's furniture. So, <laughs> let's keep this thing moving. Uh, Got to talk a little bit about LeBron. Kobe have a fit. He used to went to an All-Star game and watched that, by the way. Yeah, for sure. He have a fit watching Le that. 
And I mean, about no, we, uh, we can say, so, listen, we, so, so Kobe we, more love than that. Than we, can, that we can say, that's they what should I'm change saying. the name. That's what I'm yeah, saying. they should change the name of the fucking Dan Tony Award. Yeah, because Kobe would not have that right there. But that's what I said, you done tried to trick the system. You try to do everything to trick this. <laughs> Call that motherfucker the Dan Tony Award. Shit, let everybody run up and down shooting threes and shit. The Annalyn Award. Shit, whatever you want to call it besides the Kobe Award. Because that's definitely not the Kobe Award. That's definitely I mean, not it. Th that's what I'm saying. Like, if you really want to change, your, you want to change, if you want to make it more competitive, like, real, have some penalties in that motherfucker for real. Oh. Have some penalties in it. The winner gets this, put that money right in the middle of the flow. Boom! <laughs> Right, they're going like, oh, World shit. Series of oh. Hell yeah, like, oh, Have it hanging shit. up there? Like, you, yeah, you a had a million dollars hanging in the uh, yeah, Jumbotron? Now you had 12 suitcases, motherfucker, half a million dollars. E You're making so much money anyway. Half a million dollars each for the winner. Right there. 12. Right in your right face. Right there, 12. Which 12 gonna get it, god damn it? They got this shit in a lockbox under the seat. Hell yeah, you, you sitting the there. Team, that hey, shit hey, you got automatically. You have motherfuckers out there like, all right, hold, hold on, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, hold on, hey, look. Hey, lace them up. a million dollars for the weekend? Shit. <laughs> Who I got? Who I got? Because even though, like, you talking about some of the most competitive minds, Greek the Freak out there playing around too. He only up playing Joker around. out there playing around too. It's not like you got a whole bunch of dudes that don't. You got dudes that take this game serious. So they the see. Kawhi Leonard's out there playing around. Steph Curry playing around. Like so, it's all not. All it takes is for one of them to not play around, though. Ain't well, nobody gonna get embarrassed. All it takes is for one of them to. Well, put some emphasis on it, like the finals or some shit. That home court. Home shit. court, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Motherfuckers play that. Trust me. Home court advantage matters. Yeah, it does. Because you Who's one thing, teams? because to teams, because, teams that, how many teams is out there that has? To well, because your coaches are there, coaches, the coaching yeah. staffs are there, right? Your team in first or second if you're the coach of staff, if you're coaching mm -hmm. an all-star game, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. You put that on it, I guarantee in the fourth quarter, <laughs> motherfucking coach gonna be like, shit, how many players I got? Y'all two definitely going in. Yeah. Who in first? You going in? You, you, but, the, but, the, but but that's a contradiction yeah. to what's the name? So what? If I win. Right, if I'm Doc, and I'm mm -hmm. saying, all right, Dame, Dame in, Giannis in, of course, mm -hmm. right? Jason go, Tatum, Jalen Brown. Go Jason Tatum, Tatum Brown. Then I'm a... Now, why the fuck do I want them? That, that, that's the problem. Now, who gets home court advantage if we win, me or them? Well, then you, yeah, I'm saying you the East. Whatever your conference. It's a conference thing. But then you manipulate. But, then, then you manipulate. You know what? Yeah, I'm Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, you sit your ass down. <laughs> and, but it just... Nigga, it's part you of can what sabotage it. You, know? you can sabotage the shit, or you can motherfucker. You can. You can rig I'm a player. I'm gonna fuck about Doc anyway. He ain't playing me. Fuck him. <laughs> right? I mean, you, you're gonna have that. Like, but it's all, but you, you gotta find something. Put that money yeah. on. Put that money right in. Put that money, that cash money, on the floor. You, you're not thinking player, right? Think about it. If I'm out here th shooting half quarters. There's half a million dollars sitting there. You gonna let like, hold on, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> Like, I'm trying to go out tonight. Yeah. And you fucking up my free money right here. This is free money right here. Cash. Cash. Yeah, yeah. So, and I know, oh, y'all got to incentivize them to do even more. Yes. Yeah. Why? Just like you incentivize to go there? Yes. Because if you wasn't getting paid to go there and report, your ass would be at home enjoying your goddamn self too, watching on TV. Right? So the fact that it's hard to, it's hard to really correct something when what is the penalty? Yeah. Are the fans still showing up? Yes. yes. Is everybody still watching it? Yes. For now. Oh, you're complaining? I don't care. Don't watch it. But you're going to watch it next year so you can complain. Like you've been doing the last fucking 15, 20 years that you've been saying this shit is boring. Every year it's boring. Every year we know they're not to play no defense and y'all going to be out there watching it. The stars is going to be front row, sitting there the whole time enjoying, watching mm -hmm. motherfuckers shoot from half court. I ain't heard one boo yet in the All-Star game. You ain't, but the people well, watching. Boo. Paying a king it ain't ransom. about the people that's there. It's about the fans that's watching. They watching. They, Everybody watching. They watching. Oh, this is some, this bullshit. Cut it off, cut it back on. Oh, this is some bullshit. Cut it off, cut it back on. <laughs> right? Exactly Let me, doing. if you want the NBA, boo. Start booing, fans. <laughs> Why y'all in there and they shooting hat? Boo! Start doing that. <laughs> Ego start getting hurt. Like, oh, shit, it was fucking booing me. All right, all right. All right, well, let's, let's keep this thing moving. Uh, LeBron missed most of All-Star weekend getting treatment on his ankle, arriving on Sunday morning. Uh, but he met with the media before the All-Star game to discuss his future in the league and how he wants to go out whenever he decides it's his final season. 
I was asked this question a couple of days ago. Will you kind of take the farewell tour or will you kind of just Tim Duncan it? I'm 50-50. Um, I'm going to be honest because there's times where I feel like I guess I owe it to my fans that's been along this journey with me for two decades plus to be able to give them that moment you know, where it's every city and whatever the case may be, and, you know, they give you your flowers or whatever the case may be, you know, and, and that seems cool. Um, but the other side of, I've never been that great with um, accepting, like, praise. I've, it's, a, it's a weird feeling for me. Um, I never really talked about it much, but it's just a weird feeling for me. So to, to go in each city, if that's the case, I don't know. I've seen, I've seen Mike's, I've seen Kobe's, I've seen a lot of guys. Um, I just don't know how much I, how I feel. I don't know if I would feel great about it. Maybe the only child in me, maybe. But, um, but I don't know. Um, but I am a Laker, and uh, I, I am I'm happy and been... Very happy being a Laker the last six years, and uh, and hopefully it stays that way. Um, but I don't have the I don't have the answer to how long it is, or you know which uniform I'll be in. Hopefully it is with the Lakers. It's a great organization and so many greats. But but we'll see. I don't know how it's going to end, but it's coming. So Norris, you played with LeBron, won some championships with him. Uh, do you really think LeBron is fifty fifty on whether he wants a farewell tour or not? Yeah, because he. He really don't like it when, when there is an award ceremony and all the attention is on him. Obviously, he knows everything he does is going to get attention from people. But when something is like highlighted on him, like all everybody at one event is looking at him, he is kind of like uncomfortable with that. So I believe him when it comes to that, um, that he's 50-50. Obviously, regardless of how he feel, he, gotta, he can't just leave the game without nothing, though. I mean... I just don't see that ever be in a world where he just drop off and be like, okay, I'm done without no indication. I, I, just, I don't see that happening. As, as uncomfortable as he may be with, you know, being like highlighted like that, I, I just don't see a world where he just be like, a, at the end of a season, sending that message like, hey, I'm out. I just don't see it happening like that. I think he's too big for, for the game, to the game. To go out like that, I think the game owes him, you know, a farewell tour. Cause when he gone, we gonna miss him. As much criticism as he does get, when Brian gone, it's not. There's nobody even playing like him now, and I don't see anybody coming up that's gonna be a player like him. Like he's like a one of one player. So I think we gotta give him his flowers. A lot of people eating off LeBron on both sides. Uh, yeah. Some people, <laughs> some people have yeah, established yeah, their whole yeah. career off LeBron hate, uh, thinking about. Yeah. Certain scalatory looking oh, Caucasians man, over at Fox. Uh, but the game is a game. LeBron is big business, big industry. Uh, Kmart, you think, do you really think LeBron's 50 50 on a fair world tour, or does he want to get sent out the appropriate way for what he's given to this game? I thought it was Cap with just the original statement, but hearing him, hearing him explain. explain it, I believe him. I, I, I really believe him, and you can, the way he plays, right? <clears throat> He has no problem at the end of the game giving the ball up, right? Mm -hmm. So he's unselfish. So you can see that at no particular point that he, whether it's last year, he like it's all attention is on is on me. It's already it's on him. He don't need more of it, and I think that's his thing. Like he wants to. I think if in the back of his mind he wants to have this moment, and it's his moment. That I know I'm done after this, mm -hmm. but it's his moment and his moment alone. And because he's had to share himself with the world for the last 20. 20 years. And his family, he's had to share himself and his family with the last 20 years, right? So I think if he could have this intimate moment with, this intimate moment with his family, them knowing that it's, it's it mm -hmm. and keeping it that way, I could see that as well. Mm -hmm. And him. So that's why when he says 50 50 and hearing, hearing him explain it, I can understand both sides why he's torn, because he he has guys and people, and homes that uh, he is that. Mm -hmm. They don't think nothing else. Like LeBron can do no wrong, has done no wrong. He is what it means. Basketball is LeBron James. LeBron James is basketball to a lot of people, 
and he wants to be able to give that to them. I understand that, but I can also see like him wanting to just have this moment for him and his family. So I can, yeah. Good. You think Brock is fifty <clears> fifty, <throat> or are those numbers a little bit different? The way I mean, the way he's been treated as a superstar. I. <sighs> I think he already has his mind up, mind made up, right? That when it's at the end of the season, then he's going to wait till that dead period in the summer and just say, you know, he's not coming back next year. I don't see him giving himself a farewell tour knowing that people didn't respect him when he played the game, right? For 20 years, this is what you really thought about me. This is how you treated me. I was struck, I was, I've been trying to fight for something this whole time, and then my last year, you're gonna try to give me flowers when I've been fucking knocking for flowers this whole time. I personally don't, I personally don't see him, but you know me, I'm I'm a fuck you type dude, yeah. right? So, you know what I mean, it's like, you know, yeah, when it's- a lot of people that love or, him. I know, but when it's like- I know by love No, but what I'm saying, but I'm saying, saying that, but the other that's side us. Too, but. I'm talking about the, that, that, that media that, that really, that really says I should retire in this and I'm gonna do it, and then now let's watch your views go down. Go into the next season. Like I'm not gonna let you prepare for my what's the name, so you can start running your narratives. Who's the greatest? Who's I don't want. I don't want you to run your narratives around me when yeah. my like this is what I did, and y'all don't res- y'all don't respect nothing I've done. I I can see that, and I also see him. Karen going to each fucking arena and call himself the king, and there's a fucking throne in each one of them motherfuckers. Yeah, I can see that. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna bow to this motherfucker. Uh, hey, I, that, I, right? I, I can see that. Right? Oh, nah, he don't got that. Ah. Hey, I'm just like, hey, you know, who don't have? Oh, oh. That's, uh, he grounds you, himself at, you, 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 you see him do this motherfucker here? So, no, yeah. No. I can, yeah, bring no, no, me no. my, hey, Especially bring me you. my crown. I can, t- I can tell y'all, <laughs> I can tell y'all right now. And you know what this crown is, right? The do rag, huh? Do rag. Look, look, look. I can, I can, I can tell you right now. Um, I can tell hey, you. Hey, yo, will you brush my hair? No, I can tell you right now. When, How that motherfucker do rag go? Because it, oh, it's definitely going on the statue. No, like I, said, I can do. No, when the do rag, the do rag is definitely going on the statue. If he, if he has a do rag on the statue, I honestly. That was cement the argument for me, but that's just when, when he when you want to know when he retires, start looking for these signs. He actually plays in every city, yeah. right? Though that'd be the day where that'd be the season where all forty-one games on the road he played in. That will be a title, title. right? You see his kids at every damn game at home that he's playing in. That would give you the sign that that's it. Where he like. He goes to every city, like you know, like some of them cities he ain't played in a couple of years. He's at every city playing, mm-hmm. showing that last hurrah. And when you see that, I'm like, you start watching that, like, man, this nigga done played in 22 straight road, 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 road games. games. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. <laughs> this is it right here. This somebody is it. figured it out. And that motherfucker started averaging 33. Yeah, this is it right here. He going out with a big a bang. Do you think we'll see a situation like Tom Brady where he might chunk the deuces prematurely, then miss it and say, fuck it, I got to come back. I don't like the way the game is going right now. I, I don't, I see, don't that. see that. It's only one scenario where I could even maybe see that. It's like maybe if like Bronny not ready and he's like, I take a year off or I, I want to retire, but then maybe Bronny might come back the next year and be ready to go. And that next year it might be Bryce, Bronny and Bryce, and he might have a chance and be like, you know what? I could rev it up one more time. And in that case, I think he'd do it. Okay. But once he's done, I think he's going to be done. Because you just see the preparation that he do now just to yeah. be ready. Yeah, that's what I said. That's like... So stop and... Oh, nah. I, I can't... To rev, to rev that back up, that's tough. Hey, as soon as I don't... Hey, you know how, like, when the season ends on, like, a Friday... Look at his Instagram on a Monday. If that motherfucker ain't in the gym, he done. <laughs> so, <laughs> he done. For sure. We got usually 48 hours later, he going to hit that video back in the gym mm-hmm. doing core work. If that video don't come out, God damn it, it's over. Ball head, Brian. Brian. <laughs> ball head. <laughs> Sitting there listening to some music that won't come out for another two months. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So we asked the chat, will Bron take a farewell tour? Uh, 84% said yes, over 2,000 of y'all voted, so we appreciate that. 
So uh, we'll talk a little Draymond. During the interview with uh, NBA on TNT Saturday night, Draymond made this statement. He said, I say there's two guys in the NBA who doesn't have anything left to prove, and that's Steph and LeBron. So we're going to play a little game of facts or cap. Uh, so Norris, I don't think you play facts or cap with us. I'm going to ask you a question. I ask you if it's facts or cap. You just tell us what you pick. Uh, Steph and LeBron are the only active players with nothing to prove. Facts or cap? Cap. Okay. And why do you say cap? Because as long as you're out there playing, you got something to prove. The moment you don't have nothing to prove, the moment you stop playing. It's hard to get out there and push your body through what they put their body through and then say they don't have nothing to prove. First, so Kenyon, uh, Steph and LeBron, only two active players with nothing to prove. Facts or cap? Nigga, <laughs> Draymond petty as fuck, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's super petty. No, this nigga's super petty. This motherfucker petty as shit. I thought you was petty, Gil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> petty wop and petty wop hey, two point. What? Hey, this motherfucker petty as shit, man. <laughs> so he just. So you go. I th- <laughs> it's cap because. <laughs> He just gonna leave KD off because mm-hmm. he don't fuck with him. Mm-hmm. So. That's crazy. I ain't wanna take it there, K Y, but since you what take the fuck it there, it is. yeah, that's what it is. Cause why, fuck, why KD? Yeah, what the, the fuck it is, goddamn? Why you say KD? Well, we truth tellers over here. We not gonna dance around it. Right. Well, yes, no. <laughs> technically, technically. <laughs> Let me hear it. Let me hear it. <laughs> technically, it's facts. Here, this is why I say it's facts. Can LeBron, whatever he does now, can he be the GOAT in majority of people's minds? No, right? So if he can't be the GOAT, then technically he don't have nothing else to prove because they're not giving him shit. They don't, right? I still want to win it. Like, I know, but no matter if he wins I hear you in that. I'm, I'm yes. talking about in this standpoint where it comes I agree to with you. moving somewhere yeah. on the ladder. I agree like with for you. personal, yes. For the latter movement, yeah, no. they're not going to put him in front of Jordan. So, no, he don't have anything to prove. So I'm with you. Even if he got the six yeah, rings. He need the 12 rings. They're going to say, well, he ain't got 95 scoring titles. Right? He ain't got 95 scoring titles. He, he didn't win six straight. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> he, can, he, go, he ain't go five for 25 in a three-point contest because Jordan did that. They're going to say, they gonna say right. something. Yeah, I'm with you. Right? So, no, he can't. Even the Steph argument. Right? I Same thing it. with Steph. Yeah. Are they going to put him in front of Magic? With Magic's stats and how Magic played. No. So you got two people who, no matter what they do, yeah. old people going to be like, nah, yeah. I'm good. So, yeah, he's a, these are the right now the only two people that can really sit there and keep trying to stack and yeah. no one's going to budge. Yeah, I'm with It's going to be definite two, definite two. Oh, yeah. I'm saying facts as well, but I'm saying it's Cal because he being petty. Yeah, yeah. Because no, he, yeah, yeah. he purposely left yeah, KD off is what I'm saying. Like, just, yeah, like with... But, with KD, it's it's because that was a deliberate statement. Like yeah, that was, was a de- that was a deliberate statement. Very deliberate, right? You you read in between the lines. Yeah, yeah, that's all. That was a very deliberate statement. But it's I understand yeah. what you're saying, moving up the ladder. But I'm saying if you gonna Just play, right. if you plan, if you step out there to play, you got something to prove. You know, that's facts. Yeah. The moment you don't have nothing to prove, why are you seeing yourself to wake yeah, up at six a.m. or four a.m.? Why are you getting yeah. to the gym five hours before everybody else? I mean. So I, I mean, that, but that's what I said. Like, I'm just talking about, like, just for the overall, like, stats on that totem pole. No one's going to move them. Yeah. yeah. You know, so it's like, eh. So, so Kamar, are you staying with Cap or have you moved it to fact? No, no, no. I'm saying, like, no. What he said is factual. I'm saying it's Cap because he deliberately threw shot at KD. Okay. Like, because KD looks at himself as that, mm-hmm. right? Okay. So he, de- it was, in my opinion, mm-hmm. it was a deliberate statement shot at KD and... Of course. Right. So, do you think he still have more to prove then? In the time, in his mind, in context, no. In the context of what Gil just said, though. In Kevin Durant's mind, no. But no, I'm talking about in, no, I'm just talking about in the ladder. Yeah, he's the ladder. Still, yeah, he still has yeah, more things he, to do to keep moving up. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Yeah, but it's because where the people view it, right? Yeah, which yes, which, absolutely. Which is yes. weird. Okay. So we're going to we're going to take your your statement, even though it was factual, but it's cap because he's leaving out KD <laughs> deliberately. Uh, so when it comes to Steph LeBron being the only actor players with nothing to prove, stop the cap. We're going to stop the cap. Stop the cap. So will the younger generation be the one to actually give LeBron his flowers? It seems like they approach and view the world differently. It's tough for us. We're a little bit on the older side. We've seen goats. You know this this debate rage on for decades now. This man is, and they're gonna keep. They're gonna argue until 
So they, we, we black and blue in the face. You right? say it's the younger group going to be the ones that... I see, I see, when you look at these younger guys, they have a, obviously a certain view of LeBron. Mm -hmm. They hold him in higher esteem because this is what they've seen for the bulk of their life. We got to see Jordan. We got to see Kobe. Yeah. Facts. The younger group, I mean, that's all they saw. They right. didn't get to see a lot of Kobe. They didn't get to see Mike. You can only go by... What you see? But you see, and then they not stupid. Clearly, they ain't stupid again to go back and watch. Yeah, which know? is so. We didn't have that. At, we didn't have YouTube and a lot of these ways to kind of watch these guys' careers that they have now. Yeah. We just had to take our parents' word for it. And as some of us know, our parents like to gas things up a lot. Yeah, and that, lot, that's, that's but I watched. I, when I was a young dude, yeah, even though I was young, I watched Mike and uh, Kobe and all. I watched them, and I went went back and watched the tapes of Magic and all them to see if what people were saying <laughs> was so. Some of the stuff they were saying was hyperbole. Mm -hmm. Some of it was hyperbole, some yeah. of it wasn't. But I had to go see for myself. But you said it earlier, like, damn, where you pull that word from? Yeah, yeah. You know, I went to Cleveland State. He went to Cleveland State. He went out to Cleveland State. He used that free education. Boy, that free education did wonders for you. State college, baby. You said it earlier. You said it earlier. Right you said you went to Cleveland State. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You said it earlier. Right. You said you went back and watched a movie and it was juice. And it wasn't as good as you remember. Still, still a great movie, but it just. Wasn't. Now, that that be the diff that be the same thing I be saying with the eighties <clears throat> and all that and all. how come this is just the the only era that's sitting here delusional right if we ask all the eighties can the seventies and sixties and fifties keep up with you they're like hell no right well that's the same thing everybody's saying about y'all right you couldn't dribble with your left hand for most of y'all y'all didn't know what the left hand was right y'all didn't have no y'all didn't y'all didn't have for the most y'all didn't have trainers. Yeah, yeah, they had yeah. three people on the bench. You know, they had three people on the bench. They had a, a stretch. No, not a stretch. They had a strength coach. No, sorry, they didn't have that. They had a medical staff, a coach, and assistant coach, right? So they didn't have nothing to improve their game. We seen it, right? We, we see, we can watch with our eyes now and then. Back then, what you were watching, TV for the first time, like, it's like Mario to us. We go play some of those games today. We're like, oh shit, this is horrible. Yeah. How did we play it? Then when we was in real time, amazing fucking product. But is it horrible or is it just different? It's older. But I still love what I'm saying the old is, game. It's not that it's horrible, no, it's just different than It's the, different, but what I'm saying is, but no, but Mario is not pretending that they better than today. Right? It, we had our time, Yo, it's our time. I ain't I didn't know we're near playing in the 80s. And I go back and look at one of my college tapes now, and I'd be like, God damn, damn. damn. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. I look, I look what like color that. is this? Same. Like, why is, why is the whole game in this color? Like, like this bad. But you know what I mean? And so it's just, it's just one of those things where I'm like, <laughs> well, be, because, we, we, because we know the talent is clearly not even on the same planet, right? We're trying to compare, and the problem with some of the players today the fact that we do have Google, we do have YouTube, we can sit here and watch a player and say, yeah, dude's trash, yeah. but how's he in front of me? How's this dude in front of me? <laughs> like we, right? You, it right, look, we it sit here, look we different, because you can, never know if you get out there. Yeah, we, yeah, we know. It's dudes well, that's going to be 10 years, 20 years now that's going to look at your film, and I'm going to have to remind them, like, hey, hold up, but that, it ain't what it looked like, young But that's brother. what I'm saying. If you get out there with him, I'm telling you right now, it ain't what it looks like. another way, but right? But that's, but, but that's what I'm saying. I can see it in real time. I'm not delusional to, I can see that, all right, I never had to guard a dude like Steph, a Westbrook, a John Morant. Like, I'm not even going to be delusional. Like, yeah, I would, I, would, I would clamp them the fuck up. That's dumb because the stuff they're doing now didn't even exist when I played, no. right? Did, didn't exist. I'm playing against Andre Miller, yeah. right? Now, there was no, not going to be no you, no uh, Euro Andre step. Was nice though. But yeah. He was nice when he, yeah. he. There was not going to be no Euro step. There wasn't yeah. going to be no split throwing between legs. No double double step back there. Hey, there was not going to be none of that. Thanks. So me trying to pretend, pretend that it did exist when I played is stupid. So I got one for you. Back. I'm at the light, right? You pull up next to me, yo, card. And I'm in this motherfucking German engineering over here, right? I'm gonna Roll blow your door. doors off. <laughs> Boom, right? That motherfucker, that, that, that goddamn Mercedes going, meow, right? Take that same Mercedes. So, evolution. Mm -hmm. I'm at the light next to a Tesla. I'm in my bin. I mean, that German engineer, guess what that Tesla gonna do? Meow, I'm gonna be trying to, like, it just. Is what right? it is. Right? You take the Shelby from the fastest car in the 80s, whatever it was, it ain't the same. It, it, it ain't the same. It ain't the same. 
Like it was like, a great car then. Absolutely. So, like, you know, like, trying you to... got that new, it got that new Mustang, that Shelby, that thing nice. But then you, then somebody came with the Chevelle. It's, it's, it's like, they, yeah, you're trying to, that's what I said, we're sitting here trying to hold these standards and you're, you're trying to, you're, you're trying to hold people to standards that just doesn't exist anymore. It, there, and the it rules are different that they don't allow it to exist. I think like, you should appreciate these. Like even even with the when your father was talking about, like most of these people who talk about, put the hand check back in. They didn't realize that when I was speaking to you, speaking to his pops, his pops knew what I was talking about. Back then, hand checking in the seventies and it was two hands. Yeah. Two hands, you can two hand touch. I can sit there and do this, two hands on you. Then it changed to the one hand. The 80s was one hand. You know when Michael Jordan wanted to do the one, two pull up? One hand. There's a reason that he can go to the one, two pull up every single time, right there. Pull up, one, two, pull. He, he wasn't sitting there doing that, just pump fake, one dribble, pull up. Where was the hand check then? Where was the hand check on all these guards getting to the lane? It didn't exist, the, the game you're talking about didn't exist. Mike not a good example because his game translates no matter what. But what I'm saying is, look at the moves though. We're talking about just simple yeah, it didn't, pump fake, one dribble. There's no where's the hand check? Pull up on you. It was simple basketball. Facts. Why didn't the hand check affect anybody who was trying to score? Now there's just more scores doing the same thing. But they don't have hand check now though. They do. They don't let us hand check. Yeah, they do. As soon as the guy face up, it's illegal to have your hands on him. You, you can, can only touch, touch him. You can, touch you can only that? touch him when his back is to the basket or he's sideways. Once he face up, it's or, a hands off policy in the league. That's the rule. Yeah, it's a rule. It, it's been a rule since the eighties. Nah. Yeah, yeah. Read the rule book. Nah, nah. Read, read the rule book. Read the rule. book. <laughs> I, I want him to bring back hand check. But, but I'm saying, no read defense. the. There's no hand check. Is never no defense. You can't hand check me. How? I'm, I'm trying to score. Where, where's your hand check gonna do? Uh, hold, hand check can do a lot. Hold me, what, hold me to the side and push me when I'm in the air? <laughs> you, you, nah, I mean, yeah. if you're a defender, hand I'm coming on a 1 4 flat. What's your, what, what, how, where are you going to hand check me at? What part of my body? The front of me? Because once I'm on the side of you, what are you doing? You're on the side, you're already beat. Think about, think about what I'm saying. I'm thinking what, about what you're saying. So but if, you got to understand, if you, you're an offensive player, right? Mm hmm. Oh. If I don't let you get a running start, the goal is not to See, pressure not you to all the time. The, I just want to play in between. Uh -huh. and as soon as you wait for the one four flat and I, and I do like this, and then you try something and I back up just and like that. Once I'm gone, gone. but once I'm gone and I get my <laughs> as foot, as you open the you big see, door. Yeah. As soon as you <laughs> open up, as soon as, <laughs> soon as, <laughs> say go. As soon as you did this, boom, bam, go. Right, but that that wasn't then, allowed back then. Guards and, didn't go. And everybody don't do one four flat. Like, but that's what I'm saying. On but, the side, in the mid post. That like, does a lot I, I watched versus hands off. This is how I knew defense was bullshit. <laughs> talk to me, talk there's an ESPN, there's an ESPN six years ago, Baron Davis and Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas teaching the defense on how I, they played defense back then. I saw that. Right? With the uh Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting here. What? <laughs> He's talking about this is his, this is his. Block arm, this is this arm. Hold the right? over. He's over the, like, so he's <laughs> doing this, and then he said he reaches with this hand. He said he goes through the, he said he, he goes, goes through, through the body. He, he goes through this way. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That, hey, but but that made sense because they didn't go this way. They went sideways. So this made sense. If I got to sit here and wait for the guard, I got to wait. It's easy to go. But if I'm sitting here attacking, you open up. Right? And then once I go this way, right, and you, you're on your you're on that, and I go to pull the jump shot, what hand you gotta go with? You gotta go with this. Go, he said he gotta go with this. That's Look at you, goofy. That's impossible. That's impossible. How you gonna be sitting here playing defense, go this way, and then try to come back? <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. That's y'all wanna like come on. And y'all wonder why we start laughing at y'all motherfuckers, man. <laughs> Our job is to get y'all to twist y'all hips. Once you twist your hip, here comes the snatch back, here comes the hezzies. We are watching defense. Defense, perfecting the offense. So the defense you're talking about, I'm gonna reach in. All right, reach in. Okay, up. I caught your whole body. Oh, foul. Foul. Oh, foul. I caught your whole body, goofy. Like there's a difference. There's a reason that people are playing defense a different way because of the rules. Like we're watching you gamble inside, get, do all this inside gamble. Yeah, but, the... but back then they ain't had no moves. Oh, oh shit. 
Nah, but Adam Silver said, <laughs> stop, 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 Gil, stop, God, chill, God. Gil, chill. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot what my left hand <laughs> Chill, chill, like, chill, like, chill, We chill. watched, come on. Gil, y'all act post like, all-star no, weekend no break. Gil, chill. Y'all acting act like, act like, like we don't have YouTube. Chill, and Gil. And running down. Chill, chill, Gil. <laughs> oh, <laughs> running down, motherfucker. Ah! Lost the ball. Motherfucker on the racetrack. Man, what? What? But Adam Silver did say they took rules out to make more offensive to make it more offensive. He said that they got rules in place to make it less physical. 88, 89. He said that's what he wants. No, I said Adam Silver said now. And now we have 400 points. Yeah, we got to have some of the defensive rules back in play. That's all I'm saying. Yes, the players are talented and some are going to score more, but like it's getting Man, the rules ain't going to help motherfuckers that don't want to compete. So I don't you, fuck with you. Right, you're right about no that. No rules, I mean. That's a... So, that's a so, uh, that's because they're getting so many. Okay, earlier you said uh, Draymond was taking a shot at KD uh, by saying that only Steph and LeBron were the two active players left with nothing to prove. Well, uh, Charles Barkley took an actual shot at KD. Uh, during the All Star game, Outcast Barkley made headlines talking about the Suns. He said this about KD He said, quote, Kevin's a follower, he's not a leader, he's proven that on all of his stops. So it's interesting that Draymond played with KD, didn't say anything when Barkley made that comment to come to the defense uh, of a man who helped that Warriors dynasty win two championships, uh, getting two finals MVPs in the process. Uh, is it fair for Barkley to question KD's leadership? <clears throat> All right, he said, well, is it fair? Mm -hmm. Go. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's fair, but I, I don't think you can take away from KD's greatness of who he is, but... I mean, was he the leader on Golden State? I mean, was he the leader in Brooklyn? Was he the leader in OKC? You know, so I think it's fair. I just don't think that that was the right time to say it. Like, why say that? It's All-Star Weekend. Like, KD didn't say nothing about him. Like, it was no reason to provoke a negative KD comment. Uh, there was a lot, you know? a lot of stuff said yeah, throughout so the weekend from some of the older gentlemen on yeah, the roster. It's fair, yes, but, like, should you have said it? Like, no, like, KD ain't... Katie don't want to do nothing but just play basketball. Let that man play basketball. Now, if he say something outrageous, then you, you know, you say something. But Katie ain't really said nothing outrageous recently, so like, leave him alone. Enjoy All Star, man. Kenya, was it fair for uh, Barkley to call KD a follower? Nah. It's... You don't know what kind of leader that man is. You ain't ever been on the team with him. You ain't ever been in the locker room with him. You don't know how that man lead. Hey, people can call you a follower, Charles. Mm -hmm. But you went to Fink trying to win a ring. You went to Houston trying to win a ring. Like, so, so you following people? Like, you're not, let's, let's stop it. Like, we, we, I said it before, and I, I, I understand people have, like, when it comes to certain people, people have memory like elephant. Or they short-term memory kick in real good. <laughs> like, <laughs> so... No, you don't know, like, that man can lead in his own way. 